Oh, okay. Thanks. Really appreciate that. Uh, we should be live. Hello, hello. Hopefully people are here. Hopefully the internet is working. Um, if we have any kind of problem, uh, I will, uh, you know, fix it. I will, I will restart the stream, which we've had to do a couple times lately. Let me check the chat. What is up, my chatters? Chatters is my word. How are y'all doing, though? How are you all doing? Let me know how you think the uh, the game sounds. Let me know how you think the audio sounds for the stream. As I pull up your chats. According to this, one person is watching. It's Hopefully it's not me. Hey, General AMC, Fetman Plays, Nadolf. Hey, how's it going? Power's back. Well, our 2 droid did it. So I have all messages going. What is my favorite Arkham game? Ooh, now that's a question. Now that is a question. I will not... Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate. That's the answer. Just kidding. Friendly Neighborhood Spidey, nice to see you. All right, so... Let's see. I don't think I have the audio for the music on right now just because I kept getting copyrights claimed for this one, uh, which was really annoying. But we are hanging out. We're doing some of the challenge maps that I actually never did on this profile. Uh, my favorite Arkham game, though, is kind of a toss-up. This one might actually have my favorite story. Genuinely. Arkham Origins might. Common Ranger, nice to see you. J-Dog, Celeste, nice to see all of you. I'm glad you were able to able to catch the stream. Liz is here. We have the the uh, attractive moderator for once in the chat, unlike everyone else. Stayed home. You guys, like I said, let me know how the audio sounds. We're gonna kind of go back and forth. I'm not used to playing this. I haven't in a bit. Um, but we're going to be working on some of the challenge maps. Gonna be doing some of the Enigma stuff. Here is your poop. Oh, thanks. Can you uh, put that on the on the floor or something. Oh, he was trying to hand me something while I'm playing. Uh, this is the best time to hand you things. That's true. Alright. It looks, looks randomly dark here. I had to pee, guys. I Sorry. don't see color, though. Uh, I see color every day. I see color? Is that like I show speed? Yeah, year? it is. <laughs> Honestly, what I do with my life is every time I look at anybody, it doesn't matter who it is, and I specifically notice their color. Oh, okay. Even if they're white? Even if they're white. I, I only look at their color. I just don't look. And that's how I judge them. I shut my eyes. God. <laughs> You're like, no, stop. The way I don't see color is I just close my eyes. <laughs> Jay Crow, nice to see you. Let's see. What are we... Should we check the chat here? I, ha I have been checking the chat. Okay. Uh, audio sounded good, at least from my perspective, by the way. Oh, like with the game versus me talking? Yeah, when I went to go take a pee. Oh, okay. It sounded good. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Um, let's see. We'll look at the chat here. Chat, is this real? Chat, is this real? Um, it's like a picture of me as a baby. Did you answer the question of what your favorite Arkham game is? I saw that one on there. I said this is my favorite story probably in them, but it's hard to tell. Like, okay. I think Arkham Asylum has my favorite vibe, except I love the Christmas abandoned city vibe of this one. I know. It's awesome. Um, oh. Let's oh, see. That question was from Nadolf. Switler, Argentina. <laughs> nice name. I wonder where um, he lives. I, yeah, I, I, I don't know where he lives. Um, let's see. What's up? Is Destro good in this from Mark Cujo? We're gonna try I never him got out. him when I played this on PS3. We're going to try him out. He's fun. I, If I remember right, he doesn't have quite as many gadgets as Batman. <sighs> yeah, but he is fun. He was enjoyable. He was also pretty fun in bed. That's a little oh. known fact about Deathstroke, but I got to experience it. Oh, nothing's little about Deathstroke. That friend. makes sense. <laughs> you know what was weird is when Terra wanted to experience that from the Teen Titans story. Uh, I didn't think it was really that weird. Cause, oh, okay, got it. Sorry. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just stop? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Wait, what did you throw at that guy? Uh, a grenade. I, I don't kill, but grenades do. Did you catch that grenade for him? No. Oh, got it. Okay. Uh, let's see... Common Ranger Zeo says, glad you see you're playing one of the best Arkham games ever. This game is awesome. I love this game. I love all four of these Arkham games, actually. Five. Uh, four. Five. Uh, I love all four of these Arkham Six. games. Six. 
Uh, what are the what Arkham games are there? Arkham City Lockdown on mobile. Okay, you I'm absolute not, casual buffoon of a human being. That. <laughs> and Batman Arkham Origins Black Gate. I've never played that, so I'm not going to include you it. You have to like emphasize though. Which gate is it? Black. Got it. Gate. <laughs> Which gate? Black. Oh, got it. Okay. Gate. Got it. Okay. All right. So yeah, all four of these Arkham games are incredible. Do you think someone caught strays that they named it Blackgate, but it's about crime? Because I think that's kind of messed up. Oh, interesting. Okay. Do you think that Rocksteady was trying to say something like that? I one? think they were, actually. I guess it was Rocksteady easy. racist confirmed. <laughs> racist steady? Honestly, I don't all. think... That I, was not funny at all. I, I, <laughs> racist <laughs> steady. Honestly, I was going to move on and just hope no one noticed, but you, no, you had to bring I, attention to I it. noticed and it bothered me. <laughs> that was a warm-up joke. <laughs> Oh, oh, I didn't notice that guy's color. I think because he, he has like the he's got like the stuff on him. I got it. Yeah, you can't tell what his color is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. You need to notice more color while playing this. Absolutely. I not. notice color all the time, every day. And you need to What do you do like what do you do if they bring you to the Crayola factory and oh. they say pick your favorite? Do you just oh, no. like what do you do? Honestly, I my favorite color at the Crayola factory is the Spanish word for black. But you actually see it on the side of the crayon, you know what I mean? You know what word I'm talking yes, about? Yes, I do. Did you and know? I don't know if I can say that. You probably shouldn't. Did you know that there was a whole controversy around the fact that there was a color that was kind of tan that was called flesh? And the yeah, whole is that the Band-Aid thing? Well, yeah, but like the controversy was like, hey, now wait a minute, there's so many different colors of flesh, what do you mean by that? I'm, I'm being serious. This was like an actual thing, and the right. people were petitioning to rename the color of the crayon, and I think they did. What the heck? I think that actually got renamed. Honestly, it was just named after the best color. Why did they have to throw, like, guitar <laughs> under the bus like that? It's like, in Max, <laughs> oh, you beat this guy. I guess he's a moron. Like, no, you didn't beat him. You're 1,000 under him. I beat the other guy. You're 200 under him. I, I mean. beat the other guy. Okay, got it. Anyone above me has no life. Anyone below me needs to try harder. <laughs> Um, I do have a question, actually, about this. This is more of a... Hey, Sammy, by the way. How's this, it going? This is more of a... Um, it's a question that I know is going to get a response, but I'm going to ask it anyways. By the way, were you impressed that I did so well? I was, and, yeah. And uh, my question for the chat is, what do you guys think chat. about the about the audio of the game versus us talking? Can you hear the game at all? Do you care? I don't know. Let us know. We'll see what they say. Um, I'm going to grab some Enigma stuff real quick. <laughs> I uh, actually someone wanted to see this. I don't know how in the world can a company go from making Arkham Origins, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight forges bangers of games, and then they make Suicide Squad. Well, to be fair, I, so here's the thing: they these people WB Montreal they only made this one, right? But WB oh yeah owns the, the these. producer yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, but like, so then Montreal went on to make Gotham Knights, right. which is a letdown, but not horrific. And then um, Rocksteady was an even bigger fall. Gotham towards. Knights is better than Suicide Squad. I, yeah, actually it is. Um, so I, I just don't get it. Like, to me, I I don't know what I was expecting with Suicide Squad. Not that. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be better than in any Arkham games, to be honest with you. And I would have been fine with that if it was just maybe like slightly worse than the Arkham games. But when I played Suicide Squad, it's like, how in the world did we get here? Like, this is just totally the opposite of the Arkham games. Have the Arkham games are amazing, and Suicide Squad is, like, kind of bad. Have they said anything about the, uh, the audio, by the way? Uh, let's see. The audio for the game is low. Sammy Bear King says that. Um, I'll turn it up a little Friendly bit. Neighbor at Spidey says, a little quiet, but it's fine. I'll turn it up in just a second when I'm done with this one. Um, yeah, so those are the only two people that commented on it. Well, I appreciate them letting us know. I agree with you, though. Like, it's just a, it's a frustrating letdown. It's, it's <laughs> such a sad state of affairs to see Rocksteady, which I would argue uh, the two rocks of our time, Rocksteady and Rockstar, have done such great stuff. But I feel like in recent years, they've both gone downhill a bit. Now, Rockstar will get a pass, I'm sure. Oh, he gets the pass? Not from me, I tell you what. Oh, okay. They'll get a pass when GTA 6 comes out. I guarantee it. Because people will forget. I'm turning this up a little bit. Um, tell me tell me if that's better or if it's too loud. I turned up five decibels. Are we also going to include The Rock in your Rock statement? 
Uh, no. Okay. No, I'd say he's, uh, he's doing pretty good for him. So. Okay, got it. Yeah, I like the rock. You like the rock? Yeah, I like him. Yeah, I'm fine with him. I think uh, he seems like a nice guy with his ice creams. Um, but I was going to say that Rock Star is the same way. Like, they were this renowned for doing single player company. Yeah, and right. Then you know what they did? They they found what? How what the was that? that? Did you see the physics on that? He threw it forward, but then it like launched to the side. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. And it also like launched in, in semi slow mo to the side too. Like it was. Did that guy say two weeks? <laughs> two weeks. Two weeks. Back to formula. <laughs> I don't know. I I think that they were known for being these like hardcore single player. Let's give you the maximum um, amount of value yeah. for your money. Develop. And now, what are they? Well, maybe let's put like a new car in GTA and we'll charge 50 bucks for it. Right. Developers. And people are, short cards. people are going to dismiss it. I guarantee when, um, you know, when GTA 6 comes out, they're going to be like, oh, see, Rockstar is bad. But it's like, you got to look at some of those leaks for Rockstar. They are pathetically bad. Like those, almost every heist and thing they did for like the first four years-ish of GTA Online was originally going to be worked into GTA single player in some way. Yeah, right. And instead it was repurposed for online. Mm -hmm. There was whole, like, voice lines recorded, like, script leaks. There was stuff from the Trevor voice actor, um, I think Stephen Hogg, and, and some of these other guys were, like, they had been working on storyline expansions for GTA 5 that we never got because it was easier to just make it for your little shitty avatar that you could customize and pay a bunch of money to get uh, a skin for or to get sharp cards so you could buy clothes or whatever. And yeah. I, I like GTA Online, but like there's room for both. You can have that, and you can have single player. Just well, I, don't, I don't know why they don't put all, all that stuff you buy also in single player. Because they don't want you to be able to test it out. They want you to spend your money. Like, if you can just get it in single player, it's not as much of a reward. Well, I'm saying, why why can't you buy that stuff, and then it also unlocks in single player? I don't know. That I don't know. I just know that that was the reasoning behind why it basically got stuck in online. was so that you'd have to grind for it, because there wasn't a grinding system set up for single player. Uh, and so, like, if they just gave it to you in single player, then what incentive would gamers have to get it in multiplayer? Yeah, true. Um, but also, I, I kind of think that's dumb. Like, just because I can get the M4A1 gun in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2's campaign doesn't mean I wouldn't want to use it in multiplayer. Well, yeah, exactly. You just beat this guy! He's an awful player! Well, yeah, exactly, because, I mean, you're going to play the campaign and it's fun and you might go back to the campaign, but you also want to use that gun online, too. Right, yeah, why not both? Whoa, look at his, do you see his straps? Oh, jeez. I'm only interested in girls with straps, but not not, not directed at me, like at each other. Well, yeah, because girls aren't for the male gaze. Right, uh, they're for the male gaze. Right, yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, Did anyone say anything about the new volume setting? Let's see, we'll see. Uh, someone says, no, it's fine. Okay, cool, thank you. Uh, we did have some questions here. We're going to ask some questions. Right, or well, answer some questions, I mean. While we're answering the questions, I'm going to go get a couple of Enigma things, and okay. then I'm going to let you play. Please emphasize the, the middle part of that one more time. Uh, e. <laughs> okay, I got an E. e. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that meme. It's not funny, but I love it too. It's hilarious. Wait, whoa! If it is a King Thug? Who's he talking about That's there? a rapper. Who's he referring to? Probably King Thug rapper. <laughs> Gotham rapper. <laughs> Uh, okay, I have an ad and it cut away my, my thing. Well, if it makes you feel better, I decided to be uh, okay, right. a conservative. Oh. And I picked conservative for ads. Because like, they, they say, like, do you want to play ads all the time during your live stream? And I say, no, that's going I love conservatives. But also, I need money to live. So I picked the one that plays the least amount of ads. Conservatives are based. A.K.A. good. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Conservative Sam, ads. Right. Sam Dyer says, will you play Final Fantasy VII Remake? I have. Oh, You've like, also played it. On the Let's Play channel? Or where? I don't know. He just says, will you play Final Fantasy VII Remake? I mean, I love those games. Jill and I just started a Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII. And the original. We, yeah, and then we got a, the flu for two weeks. Two, two weeks! weeks. Uh, do this one. Uh, Can do I do it? Brightest Day? Oh, okay, I wanted to do... Um, Brightest Day's awesome. Which, which one was I? Was, no, it wasn't those. Go off. Okay. Because I want to use this other one later on. I don't remember. Hey, by the way, Thrill them. Killer is awesome, but I don't like that he has boxer briefs. If he just had the yeah, normal right? briefs, it feels like he just threw boxers on. I love yeah, this, too. That one I don't is know unique. why you don't like this one. It, it's fine. 
Uh, I don't like Jeez. that. I don't like that. <laughs> this one. I like this one. You want to use the new what's, 52? What's above it, though? Or one Go- more? Gotham. This is where he con- convinces you to let him abuse you. It's Gotham cool. gaslighted. Cool. <laughs> He'll gaslight you. I'm into this. You're I also like Red Sun. Sun. Um, Long Halloween. See, the same thing. I like Long Halloween, but I've never been a fan of the briefs yeah. that go down like boxers. I agree. It should either be the underwear briefs, yep. like the classic tights from wrestlers, or no briefs. Yep. This kind is a weird middle ground to me that I don't like. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking of the new 52 one. We should use that outfit at some point. I like that one. Yeah, I thought um, I thought we'd start with uh, Brightest Day because... Yeah, um, yeah we could be white. I don't <laughs> Cool. Uh, Fetman Plays says, Gotham Knights is like the Red Dead Redemption 2 in comparison to Suicide Squad. <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. Like, everybody gets mad at me when I talk about Suicide Squad. And they're like, why are you defending this game? It's like, bro, look, here, here's the thing. A big part of my audience loves the Batman Arkham Universe. Yeah. So when they're giving away something for free in Suicide Squad, I'm just telling you. Right, yeah. I'm not saying, like, and here's why I love my lord and savior, Mr. Squad. <laughs> Jonathan E. Squad. Right. Um, I'm just saying, like, hey, this exists. Do what you will with it. Because uh, I saw some people get mad at me about that. It was so weird. Right. It's like, hey, uh, go get this thing. How dare you? And I didn't like, even okay. say go get this thing. I just said, if you care. Yeah. And I basically said, I don't. Right. Like, I literally <laughs> said, like, I will just get it because it's free. And it's like, how? That's it. And I saw some people being like, how could you support this game? It's like, if me logging in for two <laughs> seconds to download a free thing is supporting it, that's literally like saying that you are like... So here, here's something I saw, and this is something I'm seeing more and more of. There's so many people who are like always saying, how can you support this thing? You know what I mean? Yeah. And they're like trying to make a point. And I've seen people say that. Like I saw people that I literally followed on Twitter saying that about like... Um, I don't remember what company it is, but it, it had to do with Israel. And it had to do with a oh, company oh. that had given money to Israel. Okay. And, like, in the war in Gaza and stuff. And they were like, how could you support this thing? And I'm and I'm thinking, like, one, most people don't know what these companies give their money to or do. Yeah, right? they're just buying the product. Two, most people, like, are just logging in to play a game for ten minutes and they're not thinking about this. Like, when I log into Suicide Squad, I'm not thinking, like, did WB... Did, like, the head of WB punch someone in the face when they were 12? <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, oh, there's a free thing in Suicide Squad. Right, yeah. That's and like, all I care about. All of these companies, if you look into them, I guarantee they support stuff on both sides of things you won't like. Yeah. Like in... But people think... But pe- they want to make a point. People want to make a point. There's people who have nothing better to do with their lives nowadays, and because they are so active on the internet at every second of their entire life... They think everyone else is also this boring of a person, and they also need to be this active on the internet at every second of their life, and they get angry if you're not. Well, here's here's and an it's example. like most people just go to work and then they come home and then they play their game, or they watch TV or something. Yeah, like they're, they're not, not going to be like, game. what is WB Games Montreal supporting in their free time? Yeah, well, and here's an example of that. I'm going to be careful here because I don't want to slander anyone. Look this up if you want to. There were two competing articles I saw a couple days ago when I looked up Sony. Just to, like, I I was, like, because somebody that I saw on Twitter who was, like, a huge, like, I'm going to get mad at everyone who supports this company because it was tied to this war. Yeah. Was a huge PlayStation fanboy. And I was, like, I just want to look up Sony and see, like, did they have any, you know, like, anything in this war in the Middle East? Like, was there any tie to them? The top three articles say Sony d- uh, donates to relief fund to help people displaced by war. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, that's nice. The article right under it said Sony cameras linked to guided missile systems in <laughs> Israel. People have found and dismantled um, missiles that have Sony cameras on them that were likely supplied from the company is basically what it was saying. Well, maybe they bought and, them through other means. Maybe. and But my point is, if you dig into these companies, and I'm not even saying Sony supported one thing or another. I'm saying this is what these articles are saying. My point with this stuff is, like, you dig into these companies, and they're playing both sides of, like, every issue. Well, they just want money. Yes. So if, like, if someone's saying, like, hey, we'll give you a billion dollars for these these cameras, like, Sony's not going to be like, no! Right. They're going to be like, oh, a billion dollars? Yeah, okay. And that, yeah, that give was, us some money. That's my point with, like, even things like Suicide Squad, I understand that one. That one's still a political thing, because to people, it's like, well, you desexualized Harley, you know, you very clearly went in a very left-leaning direction with your writing, no matter what you think. Like, um, 
you know, like it's just you change the the direction of your writing a little bit here, um, and so like people have turned it into like a very political thing because they're that stuff. I would say rightfully upsets them that they have opinions on it. Right. Um, but like somebody logging in for a free skin is not supporting the game. Somebody giving the game twenty bucks is supporting the game. Right. There's a difference. Yeah, there. you're just turning it on and saying, "Give me this free skin." Like, like yeah. Okay. Whatever. They're not going to go to a board meeting and be like, "Yes." Five, five people got the Easter skin for Deadshot. <laughs> We're so back, boys. Like, not, that's not what's happening here. Let's go bomb some people in the Middle <laughs> East. Oh, all right. Okay, all right. Why, well, why, are sorry, I mean, why are they helping? Why are they I don't know, because they, like, sold these cameras. That's you know, Sony, not, not WB. Oh, I thought you told that was Sony. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like... Oh, okay. I, I, I thought that was the next step in the progression. You thought I was going back to not. Sony? <laughs> It's just, no. you know, I mean, because this is the natural progression of things, right? You know, you, you release a free skin, people download it, bombing the Middle East. Okay, jeez, all right. <laughs> like, that's the natural progression of things. Wait, what's in that door? Uh, that's the My Alibi Club. Oh, okay. Apparently, we need to know what yours was. <laughs> Nate gets a paycheck. Time to download it to Chemical Warfare on Children. Allegedly. Allegedly, of course. <laughs> The chat all leaves. They're like, oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we don't make any money off these streams. People used to give us super chats. I think they're begging they, for help here. They must have wised up and realized how crazy we are. <laughs> all right, how do you get in here? Uh, maybe go around to the other side. Oh, right. I think Because I got it. friends on the other side. Do you think he's the most underrated Disney villain? Because I do. Um, I think that movie is really underrated. I think it's very underrated. It's a very good movie. It's I, we need a we need okay. I don't know. Why I got this whoa. excited. We need a. This isn't about the Middle East, is it? No. Okay. We need a Princess and the Frog world in Kingdom Hearts. That's true. Did you know the princess from Princess and the Frog, Tiana, is one of the few legal Disney princesses? Now oh, I don't. No. I've been told that. I did not look up their ages to see. I was just okay. told. <laughs> All right. Just so you know. <laughs> Chat, is this real? Chat, how's, how's the chat doing? Why are they like promoting obesity? It's like, hey, if you want to be obese like me, a big one at a small price. Wait, they add a dollar ninety nine for a burger? That's not Sign that bad. me up, That's jeez. Not bad at all. How's the chat doing? The well, let's see, chat. Um. Full Inform says, I presume you saw the new Suicide Squad Kill a Justice League leaks? Yeah. I did not see these. I don't know if I can talk about all of them, but like basically what we suspected of the post-game story. like Likely Kevin Conroy recorded a lot of stuff after there was more uh, plans for characters. You know what? Just If you want to share some of those leaks in the, in the chat uh, to tell Nate, it would probably help me, but basically just there was a lot of stuff that, that, that was coming out, and there's more. Um, is the uh, Mr. Freeze thing real? Uh, Mrs. Freeze? Yeah. Yeah, it seems, that, that seems to be real. Okay. I, I just don't know how much we're gonna get, but here's the thing, like, not to be crass, Kevin Conroy is no longer with us, so when people are, like, rooting for this game to fail, I understand, but you do get that they will not release those lines, right? Right. Like, they will just sit on them and delete them. Yeah, because they'll be like, well, we're not doing that. And then the game's just stuck the way it is. I would rather have it be that they revive the Justice League or whatever. I Now, look, I'm not saying I like the game. I'm just saying I would rather that they, they make it less shit. Right. And that I get to hear some of the few, like, recorded voice lines of one of my literal childhood heroes before I can't ever again. Because they will not release that, that story stuff if they have no reason to. All right, we've had our well, yeah, exactly. But this endeavor's grown tiresome. Oh, right. He um, locks this here, and you have to get rid of the... Um, oh, you have to get rid of the jammer thing down below. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Oh, nice. It's, <laughs> it's also well, not there. It's down below them, even. Yeah, but I want to get rid of this guy. How do you see that? I can take anything you can take. Yeah, he has very good 2020. Okay, got it. Um, Mayan Freider says Tiana is 19 years old. Yep. Cool. One of the few of age Disney princesses. All right. By the way, jokes aside, I love Tiana. Okay, here we have some 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 uh, spoilers here. Should I read them or should I just read them like in, internally? Uh, which ones? Oh, does anyone care? 
Like, do, I don't know. Do people care about getting spoiled for the Justice League? Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League? I don't no. know. I mean, we haven't technically finished it. But I know the ending. Oh, I don't. We, did, we didn't finish the game ever fully. Like, we're at the end of it, but we didn't Seriously? finish it because I got the flu for two weeks. Yeah, right. Two weeks. I mean, the whole Justice League is, is uh, basically. Yeah. In our game. Like, we're, we're basically done. We just, there's a few missions left. Um. Um, you're outing me as if I didn't like know what I was talking about. Now. You don't know anything about what you're talking about. To be fair, I well, think it says something that I beat the Arkham games in a couple days max, and I can't be bothered weeks after to actually finish the final three missions of Suicide Squad. Yeah. So, okay, so here's... I don't know if I should say this, because I don't know if anyone cares about spoilers, but it's in the comments. You can read the comments. We're not, like, we're not going to... Take well, this with a grain of salt, maybe they're lying. True. So, it's apparently, uh, Full Inform has been writing all these, so I guess if these are true, thank you. And if they're not um, true, we're coming after you. No, that's a joke. Okay. <laughs> but one of them is... The storyline will also conclude in the game's fifth season. Okay, why is this ad, like, appearing and I'm cutting off the chat? Sorry. Sorry, jeez. I, got really I angry. literally, I don't have much choice um, anymore over the year. <laughs> no, it's not on purpose. I know. Um, conclude in the game's fifth season with the Justice League and Argus, the gun from Black Ops, joining together to fight the last <laughs> Brainiac, and that will be the last of the game's update. So does that mean, like, the Justice League is back? So, wait, wait, wait. Hey, phone inform. So was... I saw that Miller guy on Twitter who hates Salvage and all the all the other guys I talk to, but uh, I don't think he knows who I am. Uh, but they've all been arguing with each other for a while um, in different posts. I saw him, the guy who leaks a lot of this stuff, saying that there were plans for a season six and they got canceled. Did you see that? Like that it did so bad that um, that's not happening. So I'd be interested to know if that's something you saw or not. Well, the part I want to ask about is... Does, I thought he said that. If does I that mean, like, the Justice League is coming back? I think it means that they were clones and they never died, which is what most people suspect. That's what I suspect, but I... But it's still written badly, and it's still right. very much like a... It's insulting. Well, yeah, it's, it's very... It's very insulting. It's like a kill-your-childhood-heroes, ha-ha, now-you-murdered-Superman, LOL, LOL type thing. Like, it's not... Oh, you thought you'd actually get to play as Green Lantern? Ha-ha-ha, <laughs> LOL. Yeah. It's like, it's not fun. It's I'm gonna be honest, stupid. I don't remember how to... Uh, oh, oh, wait, it's the Disruptor. Yeah, just use the disru Disruptor. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know, because if, if that is the case, I'm still not really going to like the game. <laughs> would you but, hate it less? But I would hate it less. Same. Okay, my perfect game that they could make, which literally if I was in charge of this company, I'd make day one. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What? Whoa, no. whoa, jeez. Deadshot, is that you? <laughs> We should look at the character model for a uh, good guy Deadshot. <laughs> my favorite Deadshot. Uh, let's see. So another part of it is Deathstroke killed... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should read this either. Oh yeah, multiple Brainiacs. Yeah. Uh, huh. So basically they're just like going through and ruining... Um, Basically, they're, like, trying to get rid of their their seasons. Do you... Oh, what? hey, whoa! Oh, hey, by the way, I like the God of War game series. Uh, is it Vasilios? I like your name, by the way. Hey, Super Chat from Riot. Thank you very much. Appreciate you very, very much. An Arkham Origins remake slash remaster isn't needed anymore. Knowing how WB Games and Rockstar are nowadays, the game would come out unfinished, buggy, overpriced, or a mix of everything and stain the legacy of the original game. I agree. Here's the thing, by the way, guys. Um, you got another one. I will read that in just a second. Oh, okay. I would love if they made Arkham Origins more accessible for modern audiences by, like, fixing the frame rate and making it look a little nicer. Or if you got, like, someone like, um, I don't know, what was the company? Bluepoint. Bluepoint does an amazing job with all of their remasters. Someone like that who cares, you know? Yeah, um, to, right. to work on a, a remaster or remake or whatever. Fine. Uh, otherwise, I don't trust it. I mean, do you guys, like, here's what I would recommend. When, I, I know some people, like, some console gamers are very much against PC gaming, because PC gamers are dicks about PC gaming. Yeah, that's why that's, I'm against it. That's literally what it comes down to, is they'll do all this, like, get good, and, uh, oh, you don't have a thousand dollar PC, jump off a bridge type stuff. <laughs> um, I get it. 
But like, so Jill, when you guys are in a better position than me, I don't make very much money. The average American probably at like a full-time salary job is probably making 40 grand a year. Yeah, I mean, I, I make 300 grand a year, but that makes sense because you're better. But it's because you're hot though in a prostitute. That's true. I yes, prostitute. I do that. Um, I would just recommend getting a decent gaming laptop at some point. If you don't, if you don't want to deal with upgrading a PC, you don't want to deal with any of that stuff. And that is one of the best ways that old game workers are working. Like playing Arkham Origins on PC, I can play it in like over 60 FPS. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I can right. download whatever I want. There's modded suits if I want. Um, it's dirt cheap. It's on sale every other Tuesday. It feels like. So. That's my thing with, like, I'm not saying they shouldn't still make it available for console gamers. I'm just saying that if you're not an adult in the chat and you get to be one and you get a decent job at some point, that would personally be my recommendation if you care about preserving these old games uh, because the companies don't. And hypothetically, you can download whatever you want on PC, even if it's delisted. Right, yeah. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at with that. In terms of... Um, the other super chat, which I really do appreciate, this is from Bat Guy. Did I read it right? Yeah, Bat Guy. Loving the content, guys. Are you planning on playing AC Revelations? I want to see Nate offend all of Constantinople. Don't you mean Istanbul? <laughs> it's got like twelve names, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. I mean, Byzantium wasn't it one? Byzantium sounds like an STD. I got. Well. It yeah, I mean, okay. I, I can give that to you. Well, you did. Um, yeah, Istanbul is the current one. But Wait, yeah. there's a guy. There's a... No, that's the that's the thing you have to disrupt. I know, but I got a facial recognition scan. It, it got a... Oh, okay. It got an informant. So, we actually <clears throat> recorded, I am not I kidding, all of Assassin's Creed 1. So what are you doing? Right. And we haven't posted it yet because I got so sick that I got really behind. Yeah. Um, so we're working on that, and the next Assassin's Creed we want to play after one is Revelations. Well, I thought we wanted to do the DLC in Brotherhood. Brotherhood, Brotherhood yeah. then so Revelations. So uh, that'll be quick. Yeah. That'll be like a few parts only. It's not very long, but... Yeah, and then Revelations. And yeah. then we could play 3, my second favorite one. I actually love that. I am very excited to play Assassin's Creed 3. So thank you very much for the Super Chats. It helps the channel out a lot. We really appreciate it. This channel's been kind of struggling lately for some reason. I don't I don't know why. I think YouTube's just not promoting it. But if you want another way to support our channel, uh, I actually put something in the upper right or upper left hand that should show up in a couple minutes. We have a Fortnite code if you play a game like that. Or if you have any uh, suggestions for content or other maybe games that do things like the Fortnite code, that kind of stuff helps our channel a lot. So thank you very much for the uh, for the super, super chats. That's what you are. I love it. Enigma in this game. I know. You're using the data you've stolen to blackmail people. So, it gets the job done. And it's certainly kinder than the beatings you're so fond of doling out. <laughs> I like how he actually does have a point. No. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. No. I did have a question here, a question from someone in the uh, chat that I wanted to talk about. Oh, this is an ambush. Who's getting ambushed? Oh, it's like uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, the ending. <laughs> Basically, one of um, the coolest fights ever. Yeah. Um, sorry if I butcher the name, but... Italic or Italic? I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. Um, he says, talking about Suicide Squad, what's the opinion of you guys about making Green Lantern into an Uncle Tom and forcing a rivalry between Deadshot and Green Lantern? It's weird. It's like it's just weird. It, did you read the did you read the, the thing where he calls him one of the good ones? Yeah, I did. Yeah, we read that on the the let's play we did of it. Um it's just weird and like Honestly, if they mention it like once, I'd be like, whatever. But it's brought up like every three seconds. Yep. Especially in the beginning part of the game. Like before you kill Green Lantern. It's literally brought up every like three seconds. Like someone's al already like, Oh yeah, what do you think about the other black guy? Uh, <laughs> the other black guy? And it's like, I like how it's like Lando Calrissian where there's like one black guy in the entire I know, Star Wars like, universe. It's like the weirdest thing ever. Like it's just... Can we beat him up for being a victim who almost victimized us? Also, where's his face? 
Why is it so like I can't see it? He got he got in trouble with Hush. This is like the ultimate. I don't see color. Like I can't even <laughs> tell he's a human. It's just like this dude looks like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> like, he, this is like a low budget version of like the Christmas Carol right. Grim Reaper, yeah. like the the Ghost of Christmas mm-hmm. Past. What is going on here? Is this supposed to say something about society? Chad, is this real? Chad, is this real? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. It's just weird to me. Um, it's very forced, it's very awkward, it's very stupid, and Sweet Baby Inc. is obsessed with Babies. Make, making you know that there's some like weird rivalry between black people, and you also have to really understand that this is oh, a different no, Deadshot. Like, that that keeps getting brought up, like, every two seconds, too. It's like, hey, weren't you white? I actually... No, no, I'm black. It's like, oh, okay. There is one like really funny... Like, every two funny... seconds. It's like, just stop. There is one really funny line about it, though. It was right near the beginning. Isn't Deadshot supposed to be white? <laughs> it's like, ain't you supposed to be shutting your damn mouth? I just did a black impersonation. I'm probably... Yeah, that was really racist. But I'm good at it! Hire me to play Cleveland! Wait, if you're good at it, could you get the pass? Uh, I'm not going to do it again, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just stupid. Uh, honestly, and my other thing, too, is at, the more I play Suicide Squad, the more I just think about, I really would just want a Justice League game. But now that I'm thinking about it, do I even want this current iteration of Rocksteady to make a Justice League nope. game? It's going to be garbage. It's going to be live service, which Whoa, I... Whoa, that guy geez. entered the atmosphere! But it's not even going to be live service. They're going to put on, like, one thing every, like, 20 months. <laughs> and then their store is going to Six be months. awful. Six months? Well, this two weeks. This. Uh, I don't know. Hey, oh, okay, nice. cool! It's going to be live service. It's going to be, you know, they're going to be like, let's make Superman black! No one? It's going to be like, well, I don't know, how about we make Green Lantern one of the good ones? It's, like, just openly racist. No like, one, the head developer of Suicide Squad playing this? Why can't I kill people with this gun? Right. <laughs> he probably turns this game on, he's like, why isn't this lethal? Why is it shooting cable? I want bullets. Where's the loot boxes, damn it? <laughs> And I already know that, like, all the male characters are just going to be, like, pooped on the entire game. And they're going to make, like, Wonder Woman, like, girl boss like they do in this game. And it's like, I just want the Justice League to be cool. I just want the DCAU again. Yeah. Yes, I know Kevin Conroy passed, and that's sad. But the dude was one of the most gracious giving people (laughs) ever. Like, it's not like he sat around like, I own this version of Batman and no one can touch this universe when I'm gone. Like, he was such a kind, great person. Um... I genuinely, like, I just want, I want DC to just go back, start doing the DCAU again. If you, if you don't want to do Batman, whatever, um, do some other characters. John Stewart's Green Lantern. I'd like to see what's going on with Kyle. Kyle comes Kyle, up. Kyle, yeah. Uh, Kyle Rayner comes up in, in the DCAU, but we never really see much of him other than, yeah, I'm hanging out with the Guardians. Right, yeah. And that's it. He just shows up as, like, hanging out with the Guardians. Oh, that's Let's all. see an animated show of him in the mm-hmm. DCAU. Let's see a show post-JLU, post the comics, with John Stewart and Hawk Girl falling in love again, yeah, and then Warhawk right. being born. Yep. Let's see a continuation of an older Batman Beyond with Will Friedel. Bring him back. Even if Bruce died, we got tons of Bruce with him. How does he exist now in the Justice League without Bruce? I want to see a Flash TV show from the Static the, Shock. Old, yes, Static old Static, Static Shock. Shock in the Beyond era. Remember, he's still around. He's like forty. Would you ever want a series from the DCAU where they actually it's like a, a sequel to Teen Titans, but it confirms that Teen Titans and the Justice League show are in the same universe? I would like that, but I think there's too many inconsistencies because Kid Flash. Okay, because I I want it. Um, before... Why did you just ignore me? I'm saying yes. I'm saying I don't think they can when they wrote Kid Flash. In. Right? No, I know. I'm not saying no, <laughs> asshole. I'm um... literally agreeing with you, but I'm saying like if you're gonna bitch about Black Deadshot, I don't think you have any ground to be like, no. Well, what if we just no, wait like, a minute. pretend that was a fake Wally West from Earth 69? Yeah, I mean it can be. Uh, we know a super chat here. Ooh, thank you from Mark Hucho. He says, hey, Jay, here's some money towards Stellar Blade. Hey! Have you or Nate checked out X-Men 97 or Invincible? I am not, but I actually added it to my watch list. Which on, one? Uh, X-Men 97. Okay. So I, I do plan on seeing it. I just haven't yet. That makes sense. I am going to watch it, but did you did you ever watch the old one? Because yeah. it's a sequel to the original. Yeah. Oh, you watched I, I did that? not not through the full thing, but I did watch some episodes of it. So it's a direct sequel. Yeah, like so they... I, I do plan on watching the original one through. Okay, because that's what I was going to say, is just they kind of seem to have expected you to watch the original. Yeah, right. 
Um, I watched a lot of the original. I never finished it because I grew up with X Men Evolution. Same, same. Um, but I would still like to rewatch the original and then watch it. Invincible is something I like. I've only seen clips of it though, and I don't have Amazon Prime. Yeah, uh, my mom does though, so I could use hers. I just I, I haven't been on the Amazon Prime streaming thing in probably like four years. Right. Do you want to level up, by the way? No, what does that bother you? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so, I do plan on watching it, but just not yet, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, another question here that I wanted to talk about, let me see if I can find and it. And then are you wanting to play some? Because I'd love it if you want to play I some. I could do some challenge maps. Um, or do you want me to do Riddler stuff? No, 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 you can do either. Okay. We're just kind of uh, <clears throat> chipping away at this save pile. And, by the way, guys, we might actually just do this again in the future. Um, I have this game on PS3 and... PC and Xbox 360, and I noticed that a lot of my save files I didn't do everything on. Yeah. So Nate right. and I were kind of thinking maybe we would just hop on this sometimes, chip away at some stuff, and hang out with Chad. Hang out with Chad? If you guys like that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I found it. <coughs> oh, good. I'm Sorry to clear my up. throat there. Um, Riot2000 says, did you guys ever rank the Arkham games? Maybe you could do a 2024 version, if so. Um, I would like to, but the problem is, Nate and my, my vision of what is a good Arkham vision. game is too different. Well, so for me, my ranking is probably from favorite to least favorite. I'm just getting rid of the video idea right now. Oh, are we trying to do it in a video? Someone is saying, would you ever like do a video of it? Oh, I thought we were just doing it right now. And my point is that your favorite is Arkham Knight, and that's probably my least favorite. So I don't know how we would do this. Okay. Because our our Arkham opinions, Knight's your least favorite. Uh it's got like the worst story, man. It's like, wow. Okay. Look, I'm a storyteller. Like I have a literal degree in like literature. Is so, it fake or literal? Literal. Okay. So for me, when when the story is really suffering, that is extremely frustrating, and I think it really brought it down. I still like the story, but I think it's probably the least thought out story like that relies almost entirely on retcons and all this stuff right and so um but gameplay wise i'm, I'm sure it's well, the most advanced that's why it's my favorite i love the gameplay and the world and everything how do you get this to turn around right i hmm. um just do like a u-turn at the last second there, there you go. we go there you go and now where does this go powers back uh not there <laughs> i don't know where i'm supposed to hit <laughs> Uh, what am I supposed to be hitting? Oh, on the side, maybe. Oh, you oh, probably have to. Oh, you have open. to pull that off. You no, you have to pull that grate off. Oh yeah, you're right. I thought it would open. And then yeah, there you go. And then you have to hit the junction box. Got it. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Like for example, isn't Asylum your least favorite? It's not mine. If we're talking about just everything about the game, it's probably Origins. See, that's okay. not and my I, least favorite. I at all. love it. Origins has my favorite story to it. Uh huh. But I think just I like the other ones more. So it has less to do with Origins being bad. I don't think it's bad. Mm -hmm. It's just I I like the other games more. See, that's the thing though. Is it's I either think, Origins or City. I, I think you and I prioritize different things in game design. Yeah, and that's kind of how it always has been. And that's okay. You know, um, I, I'm, I'm more like gameplay and world and settings and things like that, and I've noticed you, you tend to like more of the story. And I like both. Yeah. Like, if the gameplay sucked balls, I, I wouldn't enjoy the game either. Right. I just think that, for me, the story elevates it more. Um, like... Yeah, I don't know. It, it just, it really depends, though. But, like, then there's games I don't play for story at all. Yeah. Like, right. I like Pac-Man. Yeah. Nobody's telling, like, a compelling, like, literature piece of Pac-Man. Well, and I think a good example of that is actually Final Fantasy VII. Like, I I like the fun, the original Final Fantasy VII story, but the reason why I didn't at, get as into it as you did is because I didn't really enjoy the gameplay as much. Mm -hmm. I find it kind of blocky and chunky, and it's... And I love it. It's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. I did like it. It's mm -hmm. just why I didn't enjoy it as much. Right, but you're not hating so, on it. No. You're so, just saying that I like it more than you. Yeah, so that's why I think I get more into the remake series, because it, you still get basically the same story... But now the gameplay I find really fun. Oh, you have to go in there. You know, so, so, so I don't know. to me though, there, there's stuff like that though for me that you like that I don't care as much about too. Like, um, 
you'll see like a really cool historical landmark in Fallout 76, and I think some of that stuff carries the game for you despite all of its gameplay problems. Yeah, like the uh, Charleston Capitol. I think to you, awesome. history is your version of story. Yeah, right. You know, like, uh, like for you, I think you really appreciate non-fiction stories. Mm -hmm. I think you love fiction, but you appreciate non-fiction stories, and that elevates games for you that have problems. I love real-world places. Yeah, but it, well, my point is just it elevates games that have problems for you, even if they have a problem, the same way that fictional stories elevate games for me that have problems. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just different. But what's funny is we both like most of the same things. We just like them for different reasons yeah. and different amounts, which is why we get along. Because we, I would say we uh, help inform the other one of something we didn't know. Right. Like, I won't be looking for the Charleston Capitol, but you'll tell me about it, and then I will appreciate the story and history of it. Whereas, like, when you played Final Fantasy VII, there was stuff you did not understand about the game, not because you're an idiot, even though you are, well, yeah, uh, but right. because it was complicated, and I would tell you, like, hey, this thing's actually this, and then you would appreciate the game more. Yeah, right. Because we're paying attention to different elements, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, and that's and that's what I think the joy is of having, having opinions and friends about stuff. And that's why I get so upset when people online argue about like games. I'm like, look, not everyone <coughs> Wow. Not everyone is going to have the same opinion about video games, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. And it's because people enjoy different things. Mm -hmm. Like to me I could play, I don't know. I've never played Red Dead Redemption 2, but let's say I play it and I'm kind of like, wow, I hate this game. I don't know. I'm sure I'll love it. But then someone else could say, this is the greatest game of all time. And it's like, that's okay. And they might also introduce you to something you didn't think about or know. Right. Um, and that might actually like help fine. you enjoy it. So we did yeah. have another super chat I wanted to mention before this gets buried. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but we were talking about stuff, so I did't want to cut us off. Uh, Edwin4PF says, what is your Roman Empire? You know... Like the thing you're always thinking about? Like it I, comes up in your mind? I have like, something here, yes. I do too. And I've, I've been thinking about this since 2011. Oh, great. And I'm very upset about it still to this day. Wow. Mine's a horny thought, so go ahead. Okay. Mine's probably not as deep as yours. <clears throat> the Chronicles of Narnia series... Oh, this like is one this of kind my, of thing? This is one of my soapboxes in the world. I am angry about this. Can we get some more movies? No. Like, how oh, come is, is it... Is that the guy who played Peter, like, 90 now? Yeah. How come <laughs> is it that we got literally the Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe, we got Prince Caspian, we got Voyage of the Dawn Shredder. Yes, I understand Voyage of the Dawn Shredder Voyage is not... Voyage of Shredder? <laughs> I understand Voyage of Shredder <laughs> is not as good as the book. I get that. I need, I need to stop the whining. But... Down. We need more of these movies, but because fans whine so much about Voyage of the Dawn Treader, these companies were like, well, this doesn't make money, so we're done. And then they spent the next, like, five years arguing about Silver Chair or Magician's Nephew, which one to make. And then now we just have nothing. And now what we got is we got a Netflix series, which is going to be streaming only, directed by Greta Gerwig, which say, what, say whatever you want about Greta Gerwig. Maybe you love Barbie, maybe I you hate, hate women. Barbie, oh, sorry. whatever. But she is a director that has agendas. Get off your yeah. And it's like, I don't want agendas. You just want the story. I want, you know, no, I no, want no, the no. Chronicles of Narnia. I, I want one agenda. Okay. The original author. Yes. I want C.S. Yes. Lewis's agenda. And I don't care if it was Christian or yes. not. It was, but... But that is what, that is what those want. movies were. The movies didn't have agendas. The movies had the magic of the books and the series. And I actually watched Scare Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And to me, it's like, me. yes, this is not the no. greatest movie of all time, Wish but it is a magical dead. movie. Is Man, look at his mouth. All right. It's because I'm in the shadows. Holy really crap. <laughs> like, this is my Roman Empire. I'm angry. Okay. And I... I will still watch the Netflix series, but I am very apprehensive about it. I thought your Roman Empire was just a thing you're constantly thinking about. I am constantly thinking about this. Mine was just going to be like big titty goth girls. Okay, well, so like, <laughs> right, well, mine was we a have lot two completely different things here. <laughs> mine was a lot more. So like, if so, here's the thing. I was thinking of like a little sh short, petite, but you know, like well built, well, you know, kind of well rounded. Yeah. Uh, you know well endowed goth girls with like a couple of a uh, couple of you know really nice tattoos you know and maybe like a little little stamp tattoos something yeah like that. I'm you know, okay that, with this. that's the kind of thing i was thinking of. but if we're right. talking about like something <laughs> non-horny 
If we're talking about not horny, we're just talking. What, why do we have like Oswald? Here? Like, get out of here! Who are you even aiming at, bro? Get out of here! He's aiming at nothing. Like, what is this guy protecting? That's my territory right there. There's that destructible wall over there. I'm protecting it. That's mine. I'm gonna take out these guys and check them. Um, wait, didn't I already do this? Oh, I did. Um, well, we can probably do more of this, the world in a few minutes. Let's do some, uh, challenge maps. Should we do, we, wait, we should do them at the back cave. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, if we're talking about, like, non-horny Roman Empire, like, I'm, I'm just thinking about something that I'd miss and regret. Mega Man Legends 3. Yes. We got two games and a tie-in. Mm -hmm. Some of the most underrated action RPGs of the original PlayStation era. Great world building, very interesting, uh, cool character design, customization, RPG elements. And then, they canceled it. Right. And then they were going to, like, they never made a 3, but then they were going to make one on the DS. Which, like, yes, it's a DS game, but I'll take it. Uh, you know, like, I like the DS, but I wish it was console. And then they canceled it because they were, like, angry at the creator because he left. Right. Was he that desperate it's just stupid. It's not about the money. Then what? Did you ever get the trophy for this? It's about sending the message. <laughs> I, I don't know I'm here. But I'm going to find out. This is kind of an annoying trophy to get that I got on the PlayStation because it's kind of glitched. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to go here at certain points in the game, but if it didn't work, you have to like leave and come back and keep doing that until it just happens to work. Oh, so really? it was kind of annoying, yeah. I wanted to give you... Uh, I don't know the, if that's what it is on play Xbox, but it was on PlayStation. You wanted the new 52, right? Yeah. Okay, here, do you want to play some? I want you to... Yes. Do you know where the, <clears throat> the Batcave computer is to do the challenges? Yeah. Okay. But oh. there was actually a question here from a long time that I wanted to gloss over right I now. I love you a long time? Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. DC and Marvel fans from like an hour ago said, Unpopular opinions about the Arkham series... Um, they neglected the Bruce Wayne side of Batman, and it gave people a uh, false take on who Batman is because they're only seeing him in mask. Do you know what I mean by that? Like, we're not really no. seeing the Bruce Wayne part oh, of Batman. Oh, I see, I see, We're yeah. not seeing, like, right. the day-to-day, -day, we're not seeing him interact with the Bat family. We're seeing him on a bad day right. yes. as a bastard telling the Bat family to take a hike. Right. Like, we're seeing... Antisocial at the peak of being frustrated, Batman. Yeah, right. Um, like I, I really like all of the stories um, in different ways. Um, I think that uh, I think that it's one of those things though where they really should have also been able to give us some of the out of cowl moments, this like like how long. Insomniac Spider Man, despite its flaws, does for Peter. We get to know Peter as a person. Right, yeah. We don't really get to know Bruce Wayne. And this game series reinforced now, the idea that Bruce Wayne is a mask and that Batman is the only part of Batman. And yeah. it's not. It's They both matter. Bruce Wayne is a very traumatized, broken person, but there is still humanity there and there is still more than just badass Batman. Right. And my unpopular take would be that I think this game series, as much as it did for the superhero genre, and as great as it is, and as amazing as uh, of a superhero video game series it is, it did do a little bit of damage as well to the idea of who Batman is to casual fans who don't necessarily watch the movies or don't necessarily... Uh, play other games or have watched cartoons or maybe read comics they just get an idea of like oh, glimpses of this bad. Batman and it's they think alive. they know the entire character. And I'll have to walk again. Yes. That's a problem I have with this You're series but it's also a problem I have with the fans for not going out of their way to try like other this? versions. It's also rack. kind of a problem with the I'm Dark Knight huh? series I think. Yeah, well, as great things? as those as, as great as those movies are a lot of people became fans of Batman from watching those movies, and they think they are, like, the experts. Mm -hmm. Like, I know everything about Batman. So, like, so you're saying, well, like, The Dark Knight, how people watched The Dark Knight, and they were like, I'm the Batman expert 102, you know. You know yeah, like, right. The, I know everything. Exactly. Because yeah. they based oh, all man, their opinions on Batman on The Dark Knight and Joker. series. And Joker. Oh, no. Like, that. oh, he's just a political anarchist, and, like, he only wants Listen to cause up. chaos and stuff. So he's then when there's another version of Joker, mistake. they can't comprehend that it's different. Don't yeah, right, stupid. exactly. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if this is going to hit the one I want, or... Let's try it. Okay, it did. Okay, perform our silent takedown. 
You know you're about to get seen. Well, from the guy I'm killing. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was the other guy. (laughs) You're doing good here. Thank you. So my point is not like, hey, let's let's shit on um, let's shit on the series. My point was just, I do think that there are people who unfortunately latch on to one version of the character, and that is their entire definition of who the character is permanently. Right. Yes. And. I think Arkham, with how popular it is, if we make it out of encapsulates that with a lot of fans. Yes. I also think it led to more... Um, despite this being one of my favorite versions of Batman and the Scott Snyder comics being one of my favorite, it also it reinforced Bat-God. The idea that like, Batman can beat anyone, he can do anything, he's not the man with faults, Like no matter what happens, he'll win. And I do think that... Something I like about the DCAU is sometimes Batman lost. Yeah, right. You, you know, like, they... And well, this Batman doesn't really ever lose, for the no. most part. And I think something that a lot of people miss is... We find him, <clears throat> we find part of losing is okay. You know, that's part of... That's, that's one area that people really like with Batman is when he... Or superheroes in general, I mean, is when he does lose because we don't, we sometimes lose in our life. Mm-hmm. So it's relatable. Yeah. So, 100%. And that, that's, that was some of the best parts about superheroes is when they do lose. You know, like, for example, in the movie Thor, like just the original Thor, Thor loses his powers. Wait, what do I have to do during a, okay, during a silent takedown? Thor loses his powers, you know, but then he under. Okay. But then he undergoes like an amazing character growth, and he actually becomes like a really cool character. I don't think Thor's like a stupid character because he lost. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's stuff like that. I think is fine, which is why I've never liked the Batman as a god storyline. No, I think it, it can work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, but he can't be that every time you see him. Right. You know, like, if you want to have Justice League Doom, where Batman had these contingencies to take down the Justice League and it works, fine. But, like, then you shouldn't have your next story be, like, Batman goes up against, like, the god of Christianity and somehow he, like, <laughs> one-ups him or something. Like, right. And I feel like that's what we get sometimes, <laughs> is, like, these very weird, like, over-the-top Batman all the time. Yeah, or, right. And I think for this it's hard because, like, if you have the player lose... They lose the game. You know what I mean? For a video game? What do you mean? Like, it's hard to make Batman lose. Oh, the yeah, game. yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. By the way, can we just take a second to appreciate this Joker voice? Like, oh, yeah. Once the dead, he does such a good job. He like does, actually. And see what he I love this. Yeah. The voice acting in this game is actually amazing. Yeah, Troy Baker and um, Roger Craig Smith. I'd love to see both of them back. Me too. That doesn't mean they're better than Mark Hamill or, um, you know, yeah. Wow. Well, and now, Kevin, and obviously. now the sad thing is, with Kevin Conroy dead, I think there could be room to bring back, you know, the voice actor from this game. Yeah, yeah, and and I don't think that that means like that. It's like a, a great thing. It just means like I, I I think that people got people get very upset about that take, but I will always maintain that if you watch the cameos that Kevin Conroy did, like the messages to his fans, if you like listen to him in interviews and at panels and stuff, he had ownership over the character in terms of how he related to him, but he didn't have a self-centered ownership over Batman. He never was talking about how he was a better Batman than another voice actor. He was never talking about how someone else shouldn't do the character. He wanted what's best for the character and the fans. Yeah, And that's why it bums me out when people were like... Um, same with Heath Ledger when they were like, "Well, Heath Ledger passed. We could, we shouldn't mention the Joker in anything for a while." I'm like, "Would he, did Heath Ledger say he did that? Like, where are you getting that?" From? Right. Like, yes. I don't know if that's necessarily respectful. It's more like okay. you're. I think you're just afraid that you can't equal their performance, so you're kind of hiding from it. And I, I, I don't really think that's. I, usually, it's not what an actor wants. I don't want to speak to the to the dead, like yeah. to those who have passed. But usually, that's not what creators or actors want: is for people to just be like, "Well, they were the best. Let's forget about the character." Right. They usually are people who very much care about the art, and they want the character to do better, or like to, to resonate with fans and continue to exist. Right. Quick question here: What's a zipline takedown? I don't remember. 
Hmm. Or Zorma, I thought it was go on the tightrope and then do a takedown, but it wasn't. Is that while you're on the... Uh, do you have the line launcher in this one? I don't think so, no. Never come Unless here. there's something in the bottom right Go up there. to the top. That's remote claw. That's what I just used. Oh... Uh, let me look it up really quick. I, I do agree with Liz that sometimes the DCAU Justice League Batman gets OP, but I do like how he basically loses a lot, too. Like, he loses a lot in the old um, Batman the Animated Series. I mean, he basically lost all his friends and his entire life by beyond. Yeah, Like, he's right. not Bat-God where, like, no matter what, <clears throat> in the end, he'll be the winner. Uh, but, yeah, there are times where he definitely just won up somebody and you'd think that wouldn't happen. Yeah. Um, I just don't think it's as bad as it is in some other stuff. I will say, as much as I don't love the Dark Knight canon as much as everybody else, I do like that he loses. Yes. Like, he's he's a flawed human being. He's not perfect. He doesn't have a perfect body. He can be injured. Oh, mm -hmm. I actually like that stuff um, about that version. And I also liked it about the uh, the Batman, the, the new movie. Yeah, I like the Robert Pattinson one. Yeah. The yeah, Zip and, I, and I, like, I like the Dark Knight movies. It's just, I don't like them as much as everyone else. That's the only thing. So... It requires distance to the target and required a tightrope created by the remote claw. You get on the tightrope, Batman will glide onto his enemy and take them down on the floor. I don't remember this one. Do you want to see a video of it? Yeah, I'll see a video of it. So I'm going to have to <coughs> leave the chat for just a second. Leave here. Chad? Oh. I just don't remember. You have this to one. ride the zip line and keep riding it while kicking until you reach the end. How do you ride the zip line, though? Well, I thought there was a there was a prompt on it. Like I kind of vaguely remember this, but I don't remember how to do this. I don't remember doing it either. You have to skip ahead like a couple seconds because he's going to do this one, and then now he's going to do the zip line takedown. All right. Well, we're going to look at it. We never cheat. Um. Let's so see. he's on it, and then he hang. Oh wait, no. He gets on it. Oh, and then oh, see, he, he goes he two clicks wire S and X. I mean to. And then he clicks the prompt again when it Okay, up. I see. So let's try but it. Then it looks like you're getting attacked immediately as yeah. soon as you do it, because it's loud. Okay. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what the guy do? He said, face me! Oh, okay. That's tight right okay. down. Uh, so there has to be someone underneath me. That's the thing. Can you get him there with a sonic battering? Bottom. I, I would have put it up there just so it's Oh, sorry. It, no, it's up to you. I mean, you're the one playing. <clears throat> According All to right. the YouTube, we only have one watching again. It's oh, not really? true, but it just it keeps glitching. All right, let's try this. Let's see what we got here. Oh, a zipline takedown. Nice. Oh, Chad, we got him. We, well, how'd you <laughs> use <right>. the force? <laughs> he switched off his targeting computer. What's wrong? <laughs> I don't know the next How line. Do you know I'm sorry. I apologize. I know. I know these Star Wars lines today. I'm not a like line person. I know some lines, but I'm not a line what person. What in the world? Do you know like, uh, do you know like, who said? I feel like I could take on the whole empire myself. Yeah, that was Jansen. Yeah, he did a good job. I thought it was Dak. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, it was Dak. Wait, yeah, was it? Oh yeah, it was. Great yeah. shot, Dak. And then, great shot, Jackson. Yeah, okay. That's You're mixing them up. I... It's Jackson, not Jansen. Uh, okay. <laughs> Were you watching Star Wars? Like the Russian spinoff? <laughs> ah, yes, very good shot, Jansen. <laughs> yes, very good. Vladimir, be very happy you took down AT-80 today. <laughs> yes, very, very good shot. You you do that great shot, kid. That one in million. <laughs> one in million, I say. I like Star Wars. <laughs> okay, what is this one? No money down. What do we I'm even try this? One. I don't think we even need to. Do I think this is a DLC DVD. one. Well, I just want to try it. No, I, you only have to do the stuff for my challenges, for for my oh, achievements. Okay. That's all you get to do. Well, can we do the challenged run? That's just my, my life. Mayan Flyer said, "Use the Force, Batman." <laughs> Jackson is the co-pilot to Wedge. Yeah, yeah, but not to Luke. I was correct on that one, though. He's the co-pilot. Yes, but you were saying... <laughs> Never mind. I know. <laughs> take down an enemy from a walkway with the back claw. Perform a takedown while crawling under a floor grate. Perform an inverted takedown from a vantage point on a thermal enemy. Okay. Hey, Nicholas was uh, at the uh, at the movies watching Kung Fu Panda 4. I want to see that movie. And said, I hope you and Jill are doing better. I'm doing good. You can probably hear in my voice that like when I talk for more than like 30 minutes, I start to lose my voice still. Yeah, right. 
So, what is this, like the Hatham Kenway, like, opera takedowns here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I think I need to, I'm going to try flying behind this guy, and maybe I can do a silent takedown. That was a great idea. A grand idea. But could I take this guy down over this ledge now if I crawl up on this? No. Okay. Oh, Nicholas asked uh, you a question. Yes, me a question. Okay. Yeah, what are your thoughts on Andrew Jackson and Andrew Johnson when they were presidents? Um, Andrew Johnson, I think, was by far the worst president we've ever had. Andrew Jackson, I think, is a guy who's very overhated. Whoa! But I also think he's a guy who maybe some, like, way over love. Jackson? Yeah. But like, didn't he, wasn't he responsible for a lot of the downfall of Native American society? Cause yeah, had... but that that's the thing. Like, we're taking, we're, we're literally taking one part of Andrew Jackson's presidency and we're like just saying that this is what it is you know what i mean i, I get what you're saying nate but wasn't this a part like basically enabling a genocide of a people no okay <laughs> i'm saying this is a pretty big part nate it That's was all a, I'm it wasn't a genocide it was a relocation that led a to mass death it did yes, lead to a lot of death but it death. was a relocation it also led to the death of an entire people's like culture because like their culture was surrounded by their land. But here's the thing. I'm going to I'm I'm going to play devil's advocate here for a second. Okay, Just why don't you play out. devil's advocate for World War 2 when we're done. But with this. okay, but hear me out. Okay. And this is going to sound bad. Is but... this hear you out about sleeping with Andrew Jackson? Like hear me out. No. Okay. Um I'm not interested. Okay, hear me out here. Okay, okay yes. Uh, yes, that was bad. But okay, I was just executed there. But let me provide an alternative here, right? Mm -hmm. So the Cherokee Native Americans lived in the the area around Georgia, He's right around um, uh, whatever the state to the right of it is, or left. I mean, a map. Well, okay, whatever Alabama or whatever states to the left of Georgia. I'm you can get blanking on the name. You can get a detail wrong here. Um, I'm not going to be angry. Okay. At you. I'm not going to So they lived in that area, right? So a lot of the, the white people were actually expanding into that area anyways, right? To like get that? to food and and resources and, and things like that. So you're saying the, the, the colonial people? Yes. Right? The white people? Yeah, so I'm saying relocating that the Native Americans that were already there actually also, I'm not saying it was good, but I'm saying it also helped protect Native Americans from the inevitable... Okay, this guy randomly turned around as soon as I appeared there. From uh, the inevitable wars and skirmishes that would have taken place anyways. Wasn't this the Trail of Tears that you're... you're yes, you're and, I'm saying, advocate on and I'm saying the, uh, the, the execution of it was pretty poor, horrible. Execution certainly happened. Though. Okay, <laughs> the... the uh, Look, I'm not trying to throw you under no, the bus I know. here, I'm, but I'm just but saying... I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to provide a different perspective to just say, I think people hate Andrew Jackson more than what I think he deserves. That's all I'm saying. I'm I, don't, not, I don't hate him. I've never met the man. No, I know. But there's people nowadays that hate him. He's and, dead. And they think like, oh, the, the Trail of Tears happened, which by the way, he didn't even do. That happened under Martin Van Buren. Mm -hmm. uh, but they say, oh, the Trail of Tears, Andrew Jackson's known for the Trail of Tears. Yeah, he hates all Native Americans. And I'm like, okay, but let's look at it in a different perspective. Could it also be that he was helping protect them as well don't we have as some trying of, to do that? Don't we have some of his writings, though, that were, like, not pro-Native American? I'm not saying he was a great guy. Yeah, he was definitely a racist. So that's what, Absolutely. That's what I'm trying to say. But... Is like, I'm saying, yeah, and, and I get what you're saying, and I get the argument, but I'm saying there might be a second part of this as well mm -hmm. that maybe doesn't make this guy as bad as what people think he is. Look, I don't think he's Hitler. Right. I, but people just, do. I, but I'm saying... Okay. Wait until this guy comes over this I have a couple break. controversial opinions here. First off, my point... This is rough, because if... I could, I could go out on a very moral high ground tangent and say well we never should have been there anyway yeah i mean because the land was already occupied yeah we can make that argument and that's and that's neither here nor there the problem would be that a lot of people in this chat who are in america would have never existed yeah right and been born because your parents would have never met mm -hmm. um if you're an american born in america and your parents you know ended up as migrants to america yeah at some point is my point um so like it would have changed the course of history in america and just... it's it's frustrating because it's like 
on the one hand, morally, I feel like we never should have taken land that was already occupied. On the other hand, I don't understand why I, as a colonizer, like a colonial American, because they call us colonizers now, mm -hmm. get more flack for that than all of history, every civilization doing the same thing. Right, Just because yeah. it was the most recent. Exactly. So that's my problem with this discussion, is like, I'm against any evil act that mm -hmm. hurts other people. But I don't understand why... That guy's armored, by the way. I know, I just I, want him to get over here. I don't understand why America gets the worst flack for that when it was happening with the Anglo-Saxons, the Brits, the Native France, Americans. Native Americans, Korea, it was happening in Vietnam, it was happening yeah. with China, Japan. Great. All these people were killing each other for all of history, and I only hear about it now from America. Yep. That, that would be my personal unpopular take on on um, American history with like Andrew Jackson and all these people is not that what they did was right it's that I don't like that that's the only wrong we talk about yeah right you and know also, what I'm saying yeah and just for clarification too if you want to talk about history Native Americans are the ones I have the most sympathy for and, I, I and, actually and respect get, I, yeah because I actually have a lot of you know, well, I'm not like just perfect game over. Well, I'm you know. not just like I hate all white people. <laughs> I, I did, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm trying to just kill someone in this floor grate, but it's like not working. No one's going to the exact location I want them to. You know, so it's like <clears throat> I, I understand Native Americans got the short end of the stick on on like almost everything. Mm -hmm. And like, what really sucks is I wish they were still around more because the yeah. women are really hot. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Is that like reverse racism? Like you're, it's a positive. <laughs> I just want them to walk over this floor. Just grade. try it again. Like, just on. try it again. Whatever. Um, so it's just that that's all I'm saying. Oh, I think so Andrew Jackson is way over hated. Uh, he never, not. you know, but I don't <laughs> think the guy is someone that, you know, because there's also a lot of people out there who like worship Andrew Jackson. Like that's this was weird. a great president. That's I'm like, weird. I'm like, well, was he? I mean, there was actually some legitimate things that you could look at that go. So yeah, that was a little, really must be good. That was a little racist, Time you know, to be honest yeah. with you. I'm pretty sure but, some of his like journal writings and stuff were pretty racist, like letters right. and stuff that yeah, were coming right. from him were kinda like anti Native American. Yeah. Like yeah, not I mean, like right. not like they should all die, like get him out of here. Yeah, and like, the guy wasn't racist, but I'm saying and all I was saying was the relocation of the Cherokee Native Americans was not something that like he did because he's like, I hate all Cherokee. Can I say something? I also thought that that was already enacted from the previous president and it, it was in the works. And he came in and finished it, didn't he? No, technically it was in the works because of Andrew Jackson oh, and Martin Van Buren finished it. Okay, I didn't really understand so it that. So the Trail of Tears actually happened during Martin Van Buren's presidency. Oh. But a lot of the plans and stuff like that for it was made under Andrew Jackson. So either way, they're both responsible for what happened. Yes. But one did it and the other planned it. Yes. Got it. That makes sense. So... I don't know. It's just, I don't. I have a lot of weird, mixed opinions on Andrew Jackson. I don't think the guy is the second coming of Christ, like some people do. I also don't think he's Adolf Hitler, like some people do. Well, I kind of think that's kind of my opinion on him. I kind of feel like it. It is a little telling that most of the people who praise him are white nationalists. Yes, and and that and I I think that's it is telling. Yes, that's that. all I'm saying. And all yeah, and all I was saying before someone sound bites that is no I, no no. I, agree. I don't think he's like the most evil person to ever exist like some people do you're saying you think there were worse evils in american history and yes in, and, in history and i also general. and i also don't think the trail of tears itself was really like this this evil like we're gonna exterminate all the native them like it's not that it wasn't good. Well, I think it it, did, it was definitely a bad thing, and it did lead to a lot of death. And, yeah, the, and but, the death of entire cultures, and also like yes, I would argue that it it led to a modern, um, really sad reality where Native American people yes. were often relocated to uh, reserves, and then those reserves are flooded with cheap alcohol and other yes. things to keep them down yes. and, and ruin them. And th that's, to me, what was evil about it. What it's not necessarily much? not necessarily asking someone to move. Like, the government can come in today, and they can claim eminent domain on, on your land. Right, and then they just, like, um, buy your house and then kick you out. Yeah, and they can kick you out. Mm -hmm. And that that's 
that can happen, but I think the evil of it is is the ramifications that happen afterwards. Yes, right. And, and I think that that's unfortunate. Um, and why it's like such a complicated discussion, which I'm surprised Nicholas brought up, because it's such a right. like, <laughs> random question. I think it's because you're a history major. Well, and then my opinion on Andrew Johnson, I think a lot of our problems in our country, even to this day, can actually be traced back to Andrew Johnson, because a lot of the work that Abraham Lincoln and U.S. Grant wanted to do to try to help reconstruct the South and try to build them back up and help change you know the education and things like that for southerners to try to bring them to modern day standards andrew johnson came in and basically just said no nah, well that's, that's we're not going to do that and then the south was just allowed to basically go back to what they were originally doing mm -hmm. which created the whole jim crow era later on well i would say that's so, probably the worst part of america is that in a American policy is that, and Putin pointed this out actually in an interview with Tucker Carlson of yeah, all which people, is kind of interesting. which was interesting, which was basically like that people don't like Putin, and you can hate Putin for all I care, I don't care, um, my point's not to endorse or, or decry him, but my point is that when you have a nation like that with a stable leader for years and years and years, yeah, your policies right. tend to stabilize. Whereas, like, when you have, like, Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, the, pe the guy after you is always trying to undo what you did. Yeah, exactly. And so yep. it leads to nothing really getting done, and the stuff that does get done is messy. Mm -hmm. um, which I think is an interesting reflection on, um, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, why isn't this okay? I, I think that that is, uh, I don't know. I, I think that that's an interesting reflection on, like, American society that, like, we because our, our leaders are always changing that we're yeah we have a hard time with having stable i mean even yeah and even look at you know someone like joe biden i'm not saying anything for or against him but day one of his presidency what it what was all of his executive orders well let's just undo everything president trump did and trump did the same to obama yeah and that that's just all these people do Right, they come in and they have an ego and they get rid of the last and then guy. And then all their supporters are just like, yeah, woohoo, my side, good. You can just take this guy out. And that's all it is. You know, I, I just think it's a little silly. You mm -hmm. know, that that's all. Um, is the Arkham yeah. franchise dead now thanks to Suicide Squad or are they going to try and revive it, asked Django. I think they're going to try and keep it going because James Gunn said that they didn't have plans of ending it. Um, but I don't know. What, are you guys interested? Like, I have a genuine question. Would you guys in the chat want another Arkham game from the people who made Suicide Squad? Yeah, right. Like, would you? Because I don't... Oh, I wanted a different costume, actually. Yep. I don't know if I would. Would you? Uh, would you, Nate? Would I you don't know. Want, like, the Rocksteady Rock writers? To no, come I don't I don't know if I would. In my face That's here. why... That's like logging. <laughs> you <laughs> like, mean mewing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, but they're both... They're both the oh, same. got it. Yeah. That's why I think it's like, that's why I was saying, yes, I want a Justice League game, but I don't know if I trust them to make a Justice League game. Right. So, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, yes, I do, but I don't know if I do, You know, if that makes sense. The brightness on this game is kind of low. It is. Is that going to be better? That's, that's actually better. I think maybe it was just a low brightness setting. I didn't notice it except in the back cave, really. Right. <coughs> you should answer some questions and save my throat for a minute. So okay, let's later. see. <sighs> did you hear what I said? I did. Ooh, hey, look, Crusader Batman. <laughs> cool. He's like, that guy over there awesome. is a little less, a little more tan than I am. <laughs> Time to take his land. Bro, like, he carries Based. around... He carries around twenty dollar laminated bills because he loves Andrew Jackson, <laughs> and then he like starts Arkham live streams like, "Well, look, the Trail of Tears was not actually that bad." I, okay, I didn't mean that. I just wanted to say I, I didn't mean that. I know the Trail of Tears was awful. It was it was literally a death march. Like it was an awful thing. Okay, this is too bright. I'm oh. just saying, like, I think people over hate Andrew Jackson. Is all I was getting at. Uh huh. The execution of the Trail of Tears was horrible. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> that's that's too bright. I know everyone thinks I'm like a racist. Now. Does everyone actually think that? I don't know. I will say though, Andrew Jackson, I think had one of the best hair. 
in presidential history. Yeah. Like, the guy had some awesome hair. Legitimately. It was, like, spiked up and, like, curled back and everything. Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. Hella hair. On a Thursday afternoon, yeah. You it really don't weird. like this outfit that much? Look at it. It's literally knight in shining armor Batman. I think it's fine. Like, I, I don't dislike the outfit. I'm just not sitting here like, wow, this is a great outfit. I, I think you I should just, be. I think it's okay. Okay, and I, like, think, I, I think you should be sitting here. That makes sense. Right outfit, and you have to think what I think. That makes sense. Okay, I now love it. Okay, good. Um, to answer your question. He even has chain mail on his legs, dude. Yeah, I mean, it is really cool. The only thing that would make it better is if he had a huge chain mail, like, bulge protecting his okay. finger. <laughs> it was, like, hanging down there. <laughs> um... So are Let's you like see. the Predator guy and I'm the combat guy? I like the Predator missions more. I like them a lot, but I suck. Yeah, and I, I'm not really good at the combat. According to, uh, according to my YouTube channel, neither am I. People say like, oh, you jump too much. Why don't you do standard uh, counters instead? Time to put you to People play. say that? Yes. People yeah. bitch about how I play. I mean, jumping is like my form of combat. Well, like, so if I do this instead of countering, people are like, why did you do that if, instead of doing that? Right. It's yeah. like, I can't, I can't do both. Right. Uh, let's see. Let's answer some chats here. Um, I did see one earlier. I'm just, for some reason, now can't finding it. Now can't find it. I'm now can't finding it. Uh, what in the world? Why am I... Missing this. Make sure to change it to all chat, not top. Okay. Is that an option? Well, here it is. Django Fat 117 says, Wish we got to see more villains, though, like Prometheus or even Deathstroke or Ratcatcher. Yeah. Like, I, I actually think this with the Arkham series. Yes, they did a good job with Joker and Penguin and Bane and, and a lot of cool villains in the Arkham series. Yeah, I couldn't jump over the back for some reason. But someone like Ratcatcher or Scarface is teased in like every single Arkham game, not every single one, but a lot of the Arkham games. And no one in Rock City bothers even just putting them in the game. Nope. It's like, yeah, well, now you get to see the puppet of Scarface for the 500th time in Arkham. No, you don't you like that? It's like, okay. We're just going to restart this. This was a rough one. Like, I don't, I don't understand why we are referencing them every two minutes, but never just putting them in the game. What did, uh, did anyone say that they did or did not want to Time see more Arkham games? Um, because, like, a lot of the people at WB Montreal who helped write this game, which is one of my favorite in the series, are gone. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people... I don't know why I'm having a rough time now. A lot of the people who actually worked on Arkham, uh, Asylum, City, you know, stuff like that, gone. Um, what is going on with my play? I'm scrolling through here. I honestly don't know if I'm seeing one comment that has said that they want Arkham to continue. Most of them say Someone, they don't. Mark Cujo says, I would give it to WB don't Montreal again, out. but most people are kind of like, no, not with the current iteration of Rocksteady. Which I agree, Step it's up. like Rocksteady... Now, I don't know all the details. I think I can't fully see the counters sometimes on here because of the colors, and I have like a weird thing Whoa. with colors. Well, you don't see color. Right, so I, that's I the don't. Thing. Because it blends into me. Yeah, I mean, I see color, so I can see them, but... Well, I racists like you and Andrew Jackson should <laughs> <Okay. play. laughs> If I was ranking all the presidents, Andrew Jackson would be probably in the bottom one-fourth of our presidents. But not at the bottom. Not He's not the worst, but I think he's in the bottom one-fourth. I, I Nate in him... the background of the Trail of Tears, like on the trail, <laughs> with like a foam <laughs> finger. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> I will give them. I will give the guy some points for basically revamping the entire uh, money financial system of our country by giving us a twenty dollar bill. With yeah, by giving us yeah. Was he Julius Caesar? Like, what was the deal? With that? <laughs> no, by revamping Put my the face money on system. It. He took all of our our money and out of one central bank, which became super corrupt, and kind of like diversified it among a bunch of smaller banks. And now it doesn't even matter because we just bail every bank out if it has a problem anyway. Yeah, yeah, literally. 
And all Star Country prints like money, like there's no tomorrow. They should print some for me. And then not document it so there's no inflation. I agree with that. What cool. if they printed two billion dollars <laughs> for you and me, but they didn't put it on the books? Cool. So like there's no inflation based off them printing that money. Why don't we just print money but don't put it on the books? That's a great idea! Wait, That's wow. called counterfeiting! I just solved the inflation <laughs> That's called problem. Counterfeiting money. Oh no. <laughs> I like how you just invented a new type of crime, but it's been around for thousands of years. <laughs> what if we just print our own money, and then we use it for whatever we want? <laughs> yeah, I think you're going to get a call from the feds. No, but what And if... you're going to be visited by a man named Bubba in the showers of federal prison. <laughs> When you're done. <laughs> but what if I? But what if I become president and then I order our? Uh, and you pardon us? No, I order. I order oh, no. like our financial people, like the mint. Our financial. people. I just people. say, hey, why don't why don't you just like print money, hey, lol, and working. don't announce it? You know. <laughs> I don't think oh, you we can have just more money to spend. <laughs> you can't just order them to do it. Why not? Do it, or your family is dead. <laughs> Or he'll be visiting Bubba in the prison showers. <laughs> you'll be visiting him? Yeah. He won't visit you? No, you'll you be You have to be him. the giver? They yeah. Right, they exactly. point a weapon at your he's head now. Do the, it to Bubba. He's going to be the one bending over. <laughs> okay, he wants you. <laughs> <laughs> this just sounds like a nice romance. A prison romance. It's like He just wants someone to love. That's all. <laughs> it's like Orange is the New Black, but gay. I like it. Well, I guess that already was gay. But gay was Wait, men. Whoa, whoa. It was. It was. It was two women. Or was we talking about Trump? No. Oh. <laughs> Orange is the new black is like the <laughs> that could be the book Kanye and Trump write when Kanye oh, no. gives Trump the N word pass. <laughs> Did Kanye give him the N word pass? I don't know. I, I saw a meme His where guys. it said where he passed him a note and said you can use it three times, lol. <laughs> Trump probably would believe it. He'd be like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Why'd that guy, like, scream like his entire life ended? Uh, he was about to see Bubba in the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, or just the new back was Laura Preppen. Just gorgeous. I don't know if she is anymore, like, not to be, like, an asshole, but, like, okay. I'm just saying, like, everybody ages. I, I don't know. She was the Donna, she was Donna from That 70s Show, the redhead. I always thought she was really cute. I'm angry. <laughs> what did Mark Kucha says, quote from me, Hey, I know, why don't we make our own money? <laughs> like, wow! <laughs> What a brand new idea here. <laughs> Why can't I do that? Okay, there we go. Oh, I got hit. Dang it. Well, you, you, got, the, you got the star, so who cares? Yeah, I, well, I care. I wanted to be perfect. Okay, that makes sense. We'll make you bang. Oh. Let's see here. Who wins, Nightwing or Red Wing from Tom Foolery? Tom Foolery? <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna say Nightwing. Okay, all right. Why? I don't know what well, Tom well, Foolery is. Well. No, no, no. The oh, the person is commenting named Tom Foolery. Oh, he's asking the question: Who wins, Nightwing or Red or Red? Red Bird? Robin. The entire restaurant chain. They have all of their employees bum rush Nightwing. Do so you think they, they would beat? Okay, got it. Oh, you just beat Gutierrez. You beat Spud. I don't know how I beat these people when I got hit. Okay, Your got friend's hit. score, it's just you. Dang it. And I would have done better if I hadn't gotten hit twice, and if it weren't for those meddling kids. <laughs> okay. What do you think about Black Velma? Whoa. I mean, whoa, what do you think about the whoa. Velma show? The Velma whoa. show. The Velma <laughs> show, you people. What do you mean, you people? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh. Your mask! And then he's dead. <laughs> did you hear that? Yeah, I did. I am personally not into it at all. Whoa, why? Because she's black. No, it's because... Racist! Like loves Andrew Jackson! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm never going to live that down. Um, you need to go home and Andrew Jack off? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, cut that out. It was a joke. I coughed. And okay. Um, Andrew Jackson. <laughs> Do you want to do, you want to do another one? Uh, sure. Hurts. Sure. Uh, we either need to do one of those challenge, um, what is it, those, uh, like, not the maps, but the, like the campaign. playlists. Whoa, maps? Uh, I love maps. You need to do these? You either need to do that to unlock more, or you're going to okay. want to go and get Enigma stuff. I'll do this one. Um... Wow, Swagger QT said, Jay, you're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. 
Why aren't you why aren't you watching more of my videos? Why is my channel struggling now for watch time? Huh? Swagger? I know it's on you, bro. I'm just kidding. I appreciate you. Thank you. Means a lot. I, just, I had a, a intrusive thought. Yeah. I'm just uh, I'm just mad you used the hard R there on Swagger. I'm I'm mad Swagger there didn't like sing the praises of Andrew so that like <laughs> we can have like <laughs> They'd be like, yeah, and another thing I call the Trail of Happiness. Okay. <laughs> what, what was so bad about it? Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> Wasn't it like an LOL? He saved them. <laughs> I like when you pulled out he saved them. Okay, I just meant, okay. That's going to be, <laughs> yeah, I, I understand how bad that sounds. Why'd you want to play with this costume? You didn't even like it. Because I'll, yeah, I just, whatever. Do you have any thoughts on the Tales of the Empire trailer, Nate? Um, that came out. That uh, could be wasn't interesting. Wasn't Barris Offy in it? Yeah, I think so. It could be. It could be interesting. I just also don't know if I trust the current iteration of Disney running Star Wars. But you like. Uh, you like. I like Mandalorian. I like the Book of Boba Fett. I like. Kenobi. Um, Kenobi. So there are some good things. You just liked all the things everyone hates. But there's also like Star Wars Acolyte, which I have literally zero interest in. Uh huh. Wasn't that one about like actual racism? I don't know. They were like, and anyone who looks like anything can use the force. And I'm like, oh, like Mace Windu? Like, what are you, what are you <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, there was like a weird political comment around it about racism. And I was like, you mean like how Mace Windu is black and used the force? Like, Star Wars doesn't care about race. Like, the Emperor was a... He was a human supremacist, not a white supremacist. Oh, no, I lost my thing. Because I got hit at the very end there. Do you need to restart? I literally destroyed those things. And you weren't... Oh, wait, I still got the flawless free flow. Okay, whatever. Nate's trail of happiness, making money on the book. <laughs> Dying. That's gonna be one of those things that people bring up later on that miss me. Like, see, Nathan loves the trail of tears. Hey, Swagger is uh, Jace or J Ace. We appreciate you. And they said they watch all my videos. Cool. That's actually nice. Even Nate doesn't watch all my videos. I watched about 99% of them. Yeah, but the other day I made like a really important one and you didn't watch it. But what? I don't remember. I think it was Green Lantern. You hadn't watched I it. I watched that video. There was one of them. I, no, the, the Suicide Squad one you hadn't watched. Which one? The one about the free skins. Oh, I did watch that one because you just told me in person. Yeah, but you hadn't watched it when it went up and so I had to tell you oh, in person. Because okay. being the biggest Suicide Squad oh, fan, also known as... XX Trail of Tears 69XX <laughs> on Suicide Squad's leaderboards. I didn't want you to miss out on the uh, on the game. Thank you for that. I, I really I really appreciate that. No problem. <laughs> I do it again. Uh, yeah, Mark Cujo's not watching the Acolyte. So this is what I was going to ask you, by the way, that they also asked. Have you been keeping up with Bad Batch? Do you care about it? Um, I do care about that. I just haven't watched any of it. None of it? I haven't seen any episodes of the Bad Batch. All I know is that Rex is in it at some point. Yeah. And I know I know some of what happens, because people post it spoilers, but, like, I, I haven't really been keeping up with modern Star Wars. I, um, I've actually been making my way through Dragon Ball recently, and... and um, on Jill's channel, it's kind of a mixture. Mainly now we're kind of doing more like anime-centered stuff, but sometimes she still opens collectibles. Like we put up a collectible video today, but um, uh, excuse me, there's a little, little wow. gas release. Condom king, condiment king. Sorry, here. <laughs> sorry. Um, would you like it if Batman had to fight the condiment king, but minus the mint or minus the int? Yeah, I would. I would like that. Yeah. It's just. He's like, you must use this on Catwoman! That's literally his arch en enemy because he doesn't use them himself. He doesn't want to use them. He's like, I'm not using that. That's for babies. Anyway. I was going to say that with modern Star Wars, I've been watching a lot of Dragon Ball and, and some anime and stuff recently. Um, and I, I just haven't really been... Some get up, freak! I don't know. I care about Star Wars, but I think like Star Wars has become so corporate. Yeah, it has. Like, it's so disney where, like, Disney is always trying to push their next thing. Like, we're Disney, we want to make you, you know, like, like that you didn't get the third one. Oh. What was the third one? Uh. Score? Was it score based? Oh, it must have been not getting hit, which I did. Wow, okay. I'm gonna retry. 
Um, you know, I have nothing against people who like Star Wars right now, and, and there's stuff I do like, but ever since it became this big streaming service thing, where they don't want to print most of their stuff on physical media anymore, or at least they don't want to for years, and anybody who doesn't like their stuff is a racist, at least that's what I hear, and all this stuff, like, it's just become such a controversial, unfun thing. Yeah, right. I have to blow my nose, sorry. You'll wish you stayed <laughs> Uh, that it's, it's made it hard for me to want to get into where like stuff like Dragon Ball there's like idiots in the fandom and, and people who fight about stuff but overall it's just like seen as this fun thing you know like what? okay I didn't I'm just gonna restart this I, I don't know I, I've had a hard time getting into Star Wars with all of everything around it and everything that the creators keep doing like even uh, e even, like, some of these writers on Star Wars who will, like, go after YouTubers, and they'll, like, bitch about them on social media mm -hmm. and stuff, or they'll, like, go in their little private, like, Slack or Discord chats and, like, badmouth content creators or, or fans and stuff. It's, like, it's so... I get some of your fans suck, but, like, mm -hmm. it's so unprofessional and so... It's kind of childish. And childish and grating to me uh, that it pushes uh, me away from your brand and makes me just want to engage with other stuff and not support. Right, yes. Because I'm like, why should I support a childish weirdo? Like, you're writing Star Wars. You're writing a story about people with laser swords, like, making gestures at people and they go flying or they shoot lightning out of their hands. It's supposed to be fun. Mm -hmm. It's not supposed to be like, Star Wars Theory cried now I, a writer on Twitter, am going to go online and make fun of him for it. Because right. he cried at Star Wars. Like, what a little wussy baby. Mm -hmm. Like, no, then you shouldn't have your hands on the stuff. Like, you, we can complain about different fans and their opinions all you want. That, that's all well and good and that's fine. Um, and, you know, you can even have these thoughts. Like, there's people in my audience I found annoying. No, nobody I've seen in this chat. I, uh, but people I've been like, you're a dick. Um, but I don't, like, go on, like, you know, huge rants about them and be like... Let's draw attention to this person and make fun of them to, like, all these people, you know, on on uh, Twitter. Unless you're just blatantly mean. Right. And my problem with this is that they're never going after mean fans. They're going after just fans they politically don't align with. Mm -hmm. And I'm tired of that. I don't care about that. Like, it's boring. It's annoying. It's preachy. Stop. Like, have whatever opinions you want, but just stop. And stop feeding them. Like, all of these companies feed the trolls. Like, they'll, you know, like, you'll have somebody who's actually a douchebag, who's, like, trying to incite stuff out of you to make you look like a dick, and you're like, I'm gonna play into it by looking like a dick! It's like, well, then you're pushing people like me, like, just normal people, away from Star Wars, because I'm like, do I really want to support something from some 50-year-old guy who acts like he's 12 when he gets mild criticism? Mm -hmm. No. I, I don't. I, I just want to go watch Dragon Ball. It's fun. I don't have to deal with, like, a bunch of political BS. I don't have to get in fights with people. I can just, like, sit down with my wife, watch the show, talk about the show, make some videos about the show, and have fun. Yeah, right. The end. Like, and, and these, these creators are really ruining it for me. Like, the, the Disney people and all their hypocrisy and stuff has pushed me so far away from Star Wars that it's not even... I don't know. Well, it, it kind of goes along with um, my opinions of, like, Suicide Squad and, and all these other things. Have whatever political opinion you want, and that's fine. And I don't even care that politics play a role in, in things or games or whatever. Like, I, I genuinely don't care. If you write it well, I don't care either. Yes, but I'm also sick and tired of, like, everything needing an agenda now. Right. Like, even if it's an agenda I agree with. I'm just, like, kind of tired of, like, everyone being like, well, we gotta put my political message in this. Right. And it's like, just make a Star Wars movie. Yeah, just print money. Yeah, just print money. It's like, just make a Star Wars movie. We want to just watch a cool Star Wars movie. I don't want to be, like, told that women are important. Do you want to use the shot gloves so you can do more damage? Just trying to help you. It's like, I don't want to have it, like, jammed down my throat that women are important because I already think women are important. Right, and you have your opinion on that and they're not going to change you. Yeah, I'm not going to, like, pull up a, you know, Suicide Squad kill the Justice League. It's like, I really need Harley Quinn to let me know oh, that, no, women, no. that women are important. It's like, okay, I mean, she can. Like, I'm not saying she can, but I'm... No! Oh, I got really... I think it was score-based, dude. 
I think I think it was because you were... Oh, no. Let me tell you something here. You did it. I think you're not varying your combo quite enough for the game for yeah. the weirdly high standards they have for the score. I wasn't doing that, and that's why I tried to throw in, like, batterings and different things but, but like if that you do on it, that one. if you do it at the end, though, after they're dead, it doesn't count, like when you did it. Right. On the, so... I think the game right. is setting the tier higher on these than on the original maps. Well, and I wasn't throwing those at the end. I was just throwing those to destroy the things that Got I it. pick them up later on. Got it. I was but, just saying that I think the game had a, a high standard here for you. Right. And I guess for me it's like, I'm just kind of tired of home. people being involved in media projects with agendas. You know, they don't... In today's day and age, we're not making just things, you know, like cool movies or shows or video games or anything like that. Everyone wants to use these these IPs to tell their their message. Hey, That's Jim, what it is. It's nice to see you, Javaris. Um, by the way, if um, if you guys got here late, or I, I shouldn't say late, like later than when we started, this will be preserved as a as a part on the channel. Like, it's, it's an archived live stream, if you want to rewatch through it or anything. Um, it takes a while for the chat to show up. My personal recommendation is if you rewatch these streams, wait a few hours before you do. Yeah. Because then the, the live chat should be archived, too, and you can you can read that if you want to or not. Um, uh, but that's, um, you know, that that's just if you are interested in it. I'm just telling you, because I've had people rewatch these and say, where's the chat? YouTube takes a few hours to archive the chat. Sometimes it's the what? next day. So. What in the world? Um, How come I can't take a mount through this? Ace asked, uh, which, no offense, I might not remember, not to be mean, it's just because there's like a lot of people and, and it's not your username, but in the future I might not remember. Um, like Liz said, the wrench is mods, the stars are members. So if you guys are interested in supporting... This channel in any way, are the leaving like, subscribing, commenting, which all those things help a lot. <coughs> My voice is going. I put our Fortnite code up on the up on the stream, which uh, should go up in a minute. That works for uh, the support of creator features on that game. That helps us out. Um, you know, leaving a like, subscribing, leaving a comment later on this stream once it's archived helps us out. And uh, I've been well, uploading gone. probably, just to let you guys know... <sighs> There's a lot of members and um, and Patreon videos at this point if you're interested. But even if you're not, I've been uploading probably four times this a week on this channel. Um, just notifications aren't going out. So I typically try and upload about every other day. So if you guys ever want to check because you're not seeing videos from me, that that, uh, that always helps. Um... Um, for the mods right now, they're mainly just people I know in real life, by the way. Like, I, like Liz and I are friends in real life. Unfortunately, Liz will not join, like, move to my state and join my polyamorous relationship. But the mod is, like, the first step to, like, get your foot in the door. Could I join that? Watch your back, oh, Brad. Don't it's let that bastard really get the drop on you. Okay, got it. Got it. You know, I'm pretending oh. I'm married. Got it. That makes sense. Like how Bucky Barnes and uh, Steve Rogers are not just friends, <laughs> according to Tumblr. They can't be. Right, yeah, absolutely. I was about that point. So how do you break through this ceiling? I thought you just, like, hold over this and then someone... But it says, smash through a weak ceiling onto an enemy to take him down. It really is what you were doing. Like, you should be able to press Y through that. Yeah, but when the person was Turn underneath... Off detective mode. That, no, that, that one should work. I wanted to see if it was, like, uh... But when the person came under here earlier, it didn't give me the prompt. That one should work. No. Oh, wait, he's coming up the ladder! What in well, the you world? Did it. You did it, but it didn't get anyone. I have to restart, because that's the only breakable ceiling. It's the only one. Do you have to restart all of them? I think it just does this one. I think that's the only breakable Try ceiling. Try restarting it. Try clicking restart. What does it say? All, any medals gained in this challenge will be lost. You want to start from the beginning of this challenge. So that's going to be this Predator one, That right? should... Yeah, look, because you had three retries. Yeah. So yes, yeah. What if it's like, that would restarts you to the beginning of the game before you're even Batman? <laughs> you're like a child <laughs> in the alley. It restarts just the whole save file you have in the, the game. I tell, like I said, you guys can't be friends. That's queer baby. <laughs> no, like, I think it kind of is. I think so too. I think we're going to make out to prove them wrong. Uh, me and you. Right? Yeah, yeah. To prove them wrong, you and I are going to have to. 
Maybe join Orange YouTube, upload a video. I don't know. I... Oh, gotta remember to... Why am I so stupid? I don't know. Whatever, there's one more of these still high school, Since we met. I've wondered okay. that. It's like how girls have to keep a less attractive friend around them. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> I keep a less intelligent friend around me to make me look better. Got it. That makes sense. Um, and you are that, by the way. That is you. Nope, nope. Oh. What, what in the world? Get, get right there. Get right there. And now... Here you go. There that we go. Was so glitchy. Man. Power's back. <laughs> okay, let's see. Perform a takedown while crawling under a floor grate and smash through a weak ceiling. Yeah. Um, okay. Don't think he's here to turn himself in. Uh, Liz, we're gonna do the stream probably just a little bit longer, so it's it's gonna end soon. My throat hurts. From me. I can help that. No, you're the you caused it. This guy likes lunch. So like. Them all down. I thought you said, this guy likes bitches! I was like, what does he mean by that? This guy likes women! Get him! We don't like women here. It's like when you see those uh, memes where it's like, uh... Wait, is this guy Bernie Sanders? The American people are tired of women! <laughs> I was thinking about that thing where it was like, um, the, the, the meme... And it was like when you're the last straight guy in 2055 or something, it's like you're being chased down the street with like a machine gun or something. Right. <laughs> you seen us? Yeah, yeah. I was thought they were talking. Why is that guy like defying gravity? I, I don't know. All right, okay, hey, well, I got that one. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, oh, no, my... I pressed the wrong button. There's our guy. I'm in pursuit. I don't like guys. Okay, this is I'm the. I'm not projecting. This is the very first campaign thing, and I'm doing bad. Everyone, I don't like guys. <laughs> no one brought it up. They're like, uh, <laughs> Frank. Okay, cool. No one asked. All right. <laughs> no, no, I'm telling you right now, I do not like guys. It's not, but like, it wouldn't be weird if I did, right? <laughs> no, absolutely not. But no, I, I definitely no. don't like them. So please invite me to your clubs. Yeah, like, like I want to hang me out. Bring the sleepover, please. I want to hang out. <laughs> But I definitely don't like guys, but I will hang out with guys, so please invite me. Ugh. I, I don't DC know. DC and Marvel Fan 29 said, Jay, you are my favorite comic book channel, and this is, uh, like and this. is like this setup. going to be members only stream? No, this is going to be for everybody. I'm leaving this up. Uh, I, I only do that once in a while. Um, this one's just for everybody. There was a stream recently, though, that was, uh, a members only one like it was open to anybody to join and then it was archived for members that was a call of duty one like, i don't think most people care about call of duty well, i care about call of duty i know but i don't think most of the audience who watches this cares right um we kind of like everything we like a lot of things yeah right i like most things not everything most genders but i like i like most genders i'm fine with not all i'm I'll accepting let you decide which one no, i'm accepting what would you be racist if you loved all races except one? Which one? Your own. White? You, but just whoever you. Oh, your own. oh, you're not talking me specifically. Yeah, like just Got you it. as a whoever it is. So you like every race except yourself? Yes. Um, no, no, I don't think so. Oh, or are you just liberal? I think that would. Be <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I think you'd be pretty upset, accepting actually. Don't you have to do the weak ceiling? Yeah. I do, but there's like 12 guys up, and I wanted to get people... Why'd you... What the heck? Why'd you go after the guy in the helmet? Is that like a... <laughs> it's like a eugenics thing? Like, oh, no! <laughs> what are you like? Darwinism! <laughs> <laughs> what would Batman do if he had to reverse take down a guy in a wheelchair? <laughs> Could he do it? And secondly, would he? Um... Or would he be like... He'd probably... Uh, he, he would. Or would he be he'd like, oh, like, I shouldn't do that. He'd probably, like, break their legs even more. Jeez. Because they're, you know, because they're you just... You were on your path to healing. They're trying to just provide for their families, you know, and Joker's the one that provided more money to them, so they got the job with him. So he's just going to be like, okay, you're jaywalking. I'm going to break your legs. <laughs> uh, let me see. What, was it the last stream Liz asked that was archived? Um... Uh... I got a nice slab. Let me see. Morph, uh, yes. No, 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 no. Uh, actually, sorry. It was two before that. It was a Halo one. And Joel was talking about some very serious personal stuff in that one. Remember it was the Halo one we played? Yeah, on? I remember that. And Joel was talking about some, like, very... It got kind of deep, actually. That one was two streams ago on the Let's Play channel, though. Oh, no. Um... 
Liz, if you ever want to watch any of these, I don't know why you would, because you, like, actually watch real TV and stuff and we talk, but, um, you can always just message me and I'll just send you the link to it. Uh, but the, for the, the main, like, for this channel, um, the one before this, I'm, my YouTube app is not loading at all. Give me a second to look. Um, okay, here we go. Let's see if this works. Why is this not working? I don't know. It's like this... Okay, and then they have to like go up this ladder. Every yes, time. so... so, Liz, the last stream before this one on this channel... What kind of psycho choice was to take on the GCP? Uh, Battlefront. That's Wait. still up, but it got demonetized because it has Star Wars music Come in there. Me but and it's put a still up right now. Place. Um... And then the one before that was Call of Duty. But, like, almost nobody watched that stream. Okay. What are you doing? I'm He's stuck on this up. thing. I'm trying to kill these people. Oh, can you not help. do the... I am stuck here. He's so can here. you not do that? I'm trying to get people under this thing. That's what I'm trying to do. I think you need to just get out of here for now. Because they're going to come up here. They're, dude, he's coming up the ladder. He's coming up the ladder. What the he knows hell? you're there. I lost him. See? No one's that fast. Uh, I think I was supposed to do this at the very start of the mission, but I tried doing that and it, it didn't work. Like, it didn't give me the prompt to do a takedown. So I don't really understand. Yeah. I'm doing really bad at this. I don't Do you I don't want know. me to try? Uh, Would that make you happy? Where's our damn <laughs> I'm feeling kind of sad. Yeah. Here, wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. Let's do this to like make your job easy. Because I need to get them underneath that thing. Where's the last guy? Um, right there. Got a gun jam here. Okay, all of them have jammed guns right now. Although one guy tried his gun, and now I guess he's gonna go get one because because he tried to shoot it. Okay, well, let me just take out one person. I don't need three people up. No, you do not. Nope. Okay, get out of here. He's already down. It was like a combat upgrade or something. Okay. <coughs> you can use the sonic battering again at some point, so... But the problem is it's not actually getting them where you need. No. Like, okay, look straight up. Look straight up. Now look straight down. Straight down. Put it right there. Now get out of here. Well, he's probably gonna... Get out of here, though. Get Go, go, go. He's gonna go down the ladder, and he's gonna see you. Now he's going in there. Now crouch. Crouch on that. It should pop up. See what I mean? It's Why not. is it not popping up? I don't know. Ha, See what train. I'm talking about? Is that guy armored? I don't know. Un undo your... I'm gonna kill he's, you, you no, he's not armored. See what I'm talking about, though? I, I, is would, it glitched? Why wouldn't that work? Is it glitched or something? He sees you. He sees you. I don't know. Take that guy out. Take that guy out. What? It, it's the Flash, dude. What the? What's going on here? Oh, uh, well, you're mashing. The spirit of my dad is going to descend upon us. He hated button <laughs> mashers. Now go through the vent. Go through that vent over there. Okay. And see if that guy will come down there. See if he'll come down there. What are we looking at here? <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. Least glitchy Arkham game. <laughs> I don't get this. Is it glitched? No, it shouldn't be. Can I can I mess around with it? Yeah. Just read the chat. Okay. Um <coughs> Let's see. So we gotta wait for this. Nicholas McMath says I used to like Call of Duty, but then I had to make a, an account to just play the story. Yeah, no, I agree, and that, don't take him down, that's the last person. No, I know. You know, and that's, and that's one of the problems with modern day gaming, is everyone wants you to be on their thing, and part of that has to do with them making, like, uh, an internet account for you to be on their thing, you know what I mean? So, yes. With Call of Duty, if you're just playing the main story, why do you need an account? You should just be able to log into Call of Duty and play the story. I don't think he's going to come over here because he's terrified. I don't get this. You saw what I mean, though. He's right underneath me and it wasn't doing a takedown. Yeah. Um. 
So, I don't know. I, I think that is kind of stupid. Um, let's see. Kick at those. Have you all seen the Batman Arkham wheelchair mod? I am not. What is this? Is it like Batman in a wheelchair? Is that, that like the mod? Because awesome. <laughs> that'd be epic. Um, I have not heard that. <laughs> Are you sure that's the only weak ceiling in the whole place? Uh, you can try to find one, but I think it is the only one. I believe it is the only weak ceiling in the entire thing. Huh. Are we gonna have to like restart this again? We might. Uh. You know what, Batman? He's yours. Italic says, isn't it supposed to do from below? What? Look at the challenge again. Smash through a weak ceiling onto an enemy. So I, I think it is from above. Did someone ask if it was below? Yeah, I, above Alex below? says, isn't it supposed to do from below, maybe? Not this one. Tom Foolery says, I think you have to do it with explosive gel. Maybe, Yeah, maybe try that. Maybe try putting explosive gel down and then luring him in there. But the smash through a ceiling, you did it before, dude. You yeah. press triangle. Or why? Or well, I, I did it in other Arkham games. I mean, you did it in this one. You smashed through the ceiling earlier. But that's because I had explosive gel down. And I think someone, like, stepped on it or something. Because uh, remember that guy came up the ladder randomly? Oh. I don't know, though. I have no idea. Um, I really don't know. I'm just confused. I'm kind of wondering if it's glitched. Because you are supposed to be able to do a takedown through the glass ceiling. You're supposed to break the glass ceiling. I hate the glass ceiling. It's always keeping my wife down. And the only thing <laughs> that should be keeping my wife down is me. Got it. <laughs> In multiple ways. And the only thing that should be keeping your wife down is your wife's boyfriend. Makes sense, yeah. What? Yeah. Uh... The Ku Klux Klan! <laughs> <laughs> well, now we need to restart. <laughs> is that your favorite uh, Markiplier? It mode? is, yeah. I like yeah, that. that's my... What? what? The Ku Klux Klan! <laughs> Uh. Hey, happy late birthday, by the way, Nicholas. Got a PS5 from their parents. Nice. Cool. I like the PS5. Yeah, I thought explosive gel was for the cement walls. Me too. I didn't have any challenges on this. Not even this well, one. I don't want the productive aura on this. I do oh, that in right. combat. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you even thinking? <laughs> Please don't get mad. Time to clean up. So try this at the beginning. Try... Because I actually, 100% serious, I, I think that you're supposed to do this first. Go all the way over, because see, there's that one guy that is walking that way. And he's going to go over on top of that. You mean under it? Yeah, he's going to go under it. So you have to... You sure he'll go under it? Yes. Positive. It'll take him a couple seconds, but he is HIV he's positive? going there. HIV positive. Is there one disease that you think if you got, everything would still be okay? Like, it wouldn't alter your life in a terrible way. See, it's not working. Polio. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> See what I mean? I don't get it. Here, this... pause it, pause it. Oh, wait, take wait, down. Do take wait. down. It... Dude, do I? You have to be standing. You can't crouch. What? It was It was that I was crouched. As Every soon as I other stood up, Arkham game is crouched. As soon as I stood up, it worked. Yeah, okay, well... Are you able to do the rest of these? All right, I can do the rest of them, yeah, if you want. Or do you want to do it? I don't care. It doesn't matter. Do that guy with the... Do him? <laughs> Take down right. that guy with a propane tank. A propane tank? Yeah, with that propane tank right there. Let's do this. I can't. I think you were locked on them. There you go. Yeah, nice. Now you got two. And then now you just have to get someone in a great takedown. Like from underneath? A vent, a vent takedown. Not from great. underneath. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, let's read some more super chat. Or not super chats, chats. Well, I, I am tired. Say, great, I'm glad we got a super I chat. I am getting tired. Um, DC and Marvel fan says, I finished playing Spider-Man 2 on New Game Plus, and have a great day or night, Jay. And Nate, see you two in the next stream. Also, have you played the Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor on PS5? I played Jedi Fallen Order on PS4. I bought it on PS5, and I want to play through it again on PS5, but um, I did play Survivor. Really fun game. Look at this, uh, look at these pro strats. Just wait, look it up. <laughs> I just didn't know who it would work on, so I wanted to make sure I could do some work. Wait, I'll leave to you! Oh, they randomly see you there. Whoa! What, now we're in a combat map! <laughs> uh oh, uh oh! oh no. 
Uh, Let's go, Brandon! <laughs> there was actually a cop in this game called Brandon. I know, that was my joke. Oh, okay, sorry. It was that he's Brandon. Oh, okay, <laughs> Officer Brandon. I'm sorry. What's this guy um, but yeah, congratulations on finishing Spider-Man 2. Enough. I love that game, it's really good. Uh, the Jedi Survivor is one of my favorite games, and Jedi Fallen Order is also one of my favorite games. Well, here thinks he's special. They're amazing games. And I really want to play through Fallen Order again. Uh, uh, white? Okay, that's the name, it's just White. Uh, what's your guy's favorite game at the moment? Like, that I'm playing? Is it, like, current game? Like... I'm actually asking this question, White. Is do you mean like game we are currently playing, or just our favorite video game at this time? Favorite ever, Fallout New Vegas. Favorite that I'm <laughs> favorite that I'm playing, uh, or like current, like recent. Yeah. The Stellar Blade demo doesn't count, but it would if it was the full game. Okay. Probably Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Yeah, that's my favorite game I'm currently playing. Because currently I'm playing through that Modern Warfare Three, like the new game. I'm I'm playing the multiplayer of it. I'm going to count it. I started Bloodborne like a month ago, but I, I need to go back to it. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I played through Dark Souls 2 recently and loved it. It's a good I, game. I want to make another video. It's I have, I have like three video ideas to make on Dark Souls 2, which um, if you guys have not uh, subscribed to it yet, here, can you finish this off? Yeah. I want to post something in the chat. Let's make sure I'm actually on my own account. What is, is this, this guy? Please don't die at this point, Dave. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, I actually I have one. another channel, nice, where I do uh, videos on like role playing games and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> I recently made a video about Stellar Blade. Before that, I made a video about Final Fantasy VII. So I've been working on a lot of stuff over there, I'm trying to figure out how I can share the URL to that. Uh, okay, Little says Jay's favorite commenter, White. <laughs> so if you guys haven't uh, checked that out this is that channel um, I'm trying to grow that channel a lot actually I'm hoping to eventually no get that channel monetized because this channel I love this channel but it's YouTube doesn't yeah. YouTube does not love the Degenerate J channel well YouTube doesn't like really any of the channels uh well ouch sorry but, I'm, um, I'm just I'm just being honest right um, I can say like the most vile thing ever if you just say I'm being honest what <laughs> I didn't say anything no I'm saying I can oh okay I thought you were saying like what's your problem man why are you being a pussy I'm just being honest or no, I'm I'm saying, like, I didn't like, say anything I'm saying if you if you uh finish your statements off by saying well I'm just being honest then you can say whatever you want so I did want you guys to know that that's a channel we're trying to grow, which is JRPG. Um, I'm just, I think all these things are in the description too, but I'm also posting a channel here that recently Jill and I have been making a lot of anime videos on, which is Magical Jill. Um, we've been talking about uh, Dragon Ball lately, Sailor Moon, stuff like that. We've been getting a lot more into anime. I know that these are not the same thing as Batman. I'm just saying, if you like this stuff, it is there. And then what? also in the description is Degenerate Plays. That's where Nate and I play through a lot of games together. So all those things are, are around if you're interested. Make sure to bury your comment, otherwise they will not give you a single point. They'll gentrify your uh, <laughs> your points. They'll like, split cool. them up between people. I like gentrification. <coughs> Dude, my throat hurts. I got moves you ain't Stellar Blade's seen. really fun. I really, really like it. Liz, my favorite commenter is actually you. Um, okay. Nicholas said, I love how Jay just said, let's go Brandon for no reason. And I just ordered Spider-Man 2. Oh, wait. Oh, did you read that? No. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking to, to Nicholas about Spider-Man 2. We were no, I was, well, I was talking to DC and Marvel fan. Oh, I'm sorry. About Spider-Man 2. I hope you enjoy Spider-Man 2. I, um, I really like it. As a hardcore Spider-Man symbiote... Uh, fan though and, and Venom fan there's a lot that frustrates me in the story um, but I really like the game a lot and I, and I think it, it's it's really good like it's uh, I do think it's one of those things like Nate's opinion on the trail of tears it's both overhated <laughs> and overrated <laughs> what what uh. Shot close, shot close, shot close. Okay, oh, let's oh, go! Whoa. You're Brandon now. I love Brandon. 
Me too. Officer I like Dark Brandon. Brandon. Dark Brandon? You mean Darth Brandon? No, Dark Brandon, the meme on the Oh, Dark I think even Darth Bandon. No. The, the villain from We've had this we've had this same exact discussion on a combat challenge map before. I swear we have. Wait, what do you mean? We've had this same discussion where you made a, a Dark Brandon joke and I made a Darth Bandon joke. Oh, really? On an Arkham Origins challenge map when we were playing this game in the past, we had the same. Oh no no no! We had the same exact discussion. Wait, really? Yes, it's not, and it's not like a, you know, didn't happen, um, deja vu thing. We really did. This is just okay, whatever. I don't even know if I'm gonna get a full thing because I messed up. The if you can't, there. we get one more retry, and I can try. Oh, why am I doing so bad? This is the very first campaign challenge map, and I'm doing awful. Italic asked Jay and Nate, do you guys keep up with Spider-Man comics, and uh, Peter's a cuck now? He is a cuck oh, now. Oh, um, Nate doesn't really read comics that much. He reads some of them. I think you bought the Batman 89 comic, didn't you? I did, yeah. And you were going to read that soon. I haven't read it yet, but yes, I bought it. I also bought the Radioactive Man graphic novel, so I have all those. So it's like, Nate's not opposed to comics. You're just not as hardcore in them. Yeah, right. Um, I don't want to keep up with my own Spider-Man. Go read Ultimate Spider-Man. It's actually good. It actually cares about its readers. It's not like a weird self-insert where I'm like, well, I want to screw MJ. How about we create a character named Paul that's like me, and then he, like, <laughs> emasculates Peter and, is like, that, makes Peter watch with camera. Is that what Paul is based off of? I genuinely feel like Paul is a self-insert so that the writer can sleep with him. Yes. Really? It's, like, a very much, like, a weird, like, fantasy oh. BS thing. I genuinely believe so. Because, like, every writer before this was pushing for MJ and Peter to be back as, like, a steady thing. And then Zeb Wells comes in and is like, well, what if I make, like, MJ, like, this badass boss bitch who's, like, a superhero named Jackpot, and then, like, she's sleeping with Paul. Does Paul look like Zeb Williams or whatever his name is? I don't know, but he, he's, like, very much like a... I got it, I got it. Nice, good and I just don't have to... I just have to not die. Paul is very much like a... I've got a rat tail, and I'm like a hardcore hipster type guy. So he's ugly. You gonna say, so he's Muslim? Is that what you said? I said, so he's ugly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I heard, so he's old. And I was like, what are you doing? What? I was like, I've never seen a Muslim with a rat tail. I'm sure it exists. But like, with like a ponytail? Like, a hipster Muslim? It's like, I love all of But you know what else I love? This little coffee joint I found downtown. It is to die for. Like... I've never seen this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Oh, White was talking about your favorite. Another side thing. Quest. Another thing I wanted to talk about here. I'm not what. <coughs> your favorite side quest in uh, Spider-Man. White was talking about it. Oh, um, Spider-Man Two. Yeah. Um. Nate loves the prom date side quest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, actually, uh, yeah. this is going to be kind of weird, but the one that really jumps to mind right now... For what? Uh, Spider-Man 2. For side your quest. Side quest? Yeah. Oh. Is actually the um, Haley one. I well, liked it. Everybody hates on that one. I liked that side quest. I thought it was fun. I thought it was enjoyable, actually. I'm being serious. Well, good. I really liked it. Master Bruce, you'll be happy to um, know I managed to have the gifts delivered to St. <laughs> Bruce with a Virgo. <laughs> Thank you, Alfred. Going to mean a lot to the kids. Let's see. How'd you pull it off? How'd well, you pull me off? The orphanage volunteered a truck and driver. They were apparently more concerned about upset the children orphanage than they were about the Adam Driver. The streets. <laughs> they chose wisely. Like, Get back here, you! <laughs> do you remember that? Quote? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. There yeah, was actually one comment I wanted to read. What was it? Yeah. Fetman Place says, You guys see the BAFTA list of the best video game characters? Laura Croft made number one, Mario is two. Agent 47 is third. Somehow Shadowheart from Baldur's Gate 3 made 10. I did see this. I don't care about their list. It's I don't totally care fake. about it. It is it is fake, but I, I wanted to talk about... I like I like Lara Croft. I love Lara Croft, I, but it's she's an amazing not character. One. No. You're saying this is... You're literally saying this is the best video game character over Mario? Well, I think they were basically saying the most iconic. And by the way, the best written wouldn't be Mario. If we're going by most iconic... It's Over Mario? Mario? Mario. And then Sonic. Yeah. I was talking to Jill about this today. Everybody knows who Mario and Sonic is. Everyone. Even like the most out-of-touch boomers. They'll know who Mario and Sonic yes. are. Yes. And Pikachu. 
they'll yeah. guess they'll guess even people that are not even Pikachu. They'll say, "Is this Pikachu?" Yeah, like my mom. It'll does. be like Jar Jar Binks. So like, is that Pikachu? Yeah, my mom does that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so my, like... my favorite thing was my mom was like, "You know, I think my favorite Pokemon would have to be Kirby. He's real cute." Right. And I was just like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> Yeah, so it's like... I just didn't want to say anything. I was like, you're a nice lady. I don't want to... Right. I don't want to be a dick here. So it's like, Mario is easily the most iconic video game character. I don't care what anyone says, it is Mario. Yeah, we're just talking about most recognizable... Yes, iconic. And, ...and associated with video games. Yes, it doesn't have to be your favorite. That's fine. He's not my favorite. He's I not prefer my Luigi. favorite. Yeah. But he is easily the most iconic video game character of all time. Lara Croft is very cool. I think she should be in the mo in probably the top ten. She's very iconic. She is very iconic. But to say she is somehow the most of all time, I Not think it's true. kind. Of, I think it's kind of ridiculous. Actually, actually. stupid. It is stupid. It, it's a bad list. Yeah, even Jill, that is probably her favorite video game character ever. Yes. And she said no. Like, yeah. I showed her this, and she was like, yeah, no. It's not Lara Croft. Like, I'm sorry. And that that's Jill, like, the biggest fangirl ever of Tomb Raider. Yeah, and Fetman Who loves all of them, right. by the way. Loves the old canon, the yep. middle canon, the new canon, all of them. She just loves Tomb Raider. Yeah, and she's like, no, that is not more iconic than Mario. Everyone knows who Mario is. And Fetman Place says Pikachu made number 15, too, I think. Like, what? I, I Number 15? What even is BAFTA, anyway? I don't even know. I've Some, like, it, dumb company. I don't know. Like sorry. The I don't know what they tires, are. Just... Like, I don't know what they are. stars. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't know. I mean, Mario should be one. Sonic should be two. To be honest, if I was going after that, there could be some debate, but I would probably put Pikachu at three. But <coughs> I understand. Sonichu. Sonichu probably you is going to be number one. The character created by that one person. Right. You know about that, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna get a little phone call from uh, hanging out with our underage or our friend's underage daughter here. Oh no! Well, it's true. Like, hey, we... <laughs> do a level up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember? Like yeah, he's like, it's like Barbara's like calling him, working with him. Like, yeah, I think you're really hot. Right. And he's just like, yeah, anyway. <laughs> She's like fangirling over him in this game. I know. It's kind of DCAU ish. I mean, anarchy is. Well, he's a Anarchy little, is he's a little, also a child. Yeah. Glue. I thought it was glue master. Did you say glue? Glue master grenade. Oh, they were like say go. glue master Thank race. Thank you so much for doing this. Tonight's crazy enough already. If these guns got out there, I don't even want to think about it. Yes, yes, Batman on the case. I take care of very, very quickly. Very disappointing though. No, no vodka in container. <laughs> Red Sun Batman here. Did you like how Red Sun Batman was just like a bomber in, in, the, in the movie? Yeah, I did. You saw the movie, That right? was a good movie, though. I love the movie. I got the steelbook. I, lo I have the steelbook, too. That was excellent. Steel Bond Miller says Master Chief wouldn't make the top ten. Oh, would yeah. you put Master yeah. Chief in the top ten? Yeah, yeah. I would, too. Yep, definitely. I would too. People know who Master Chief is. Who would you have as, like, the ten most iconic video game characters if you, if you are ranking them? I know you hate rankings, but how would you do it? I don't hate rankings. It's just I would have to put time and thought into okay. it. Okay. And it's hard to do when I'm on a live stream losing my voice. Well, just off the top of your head. I d but the problem is, like, are you going to keep track of Are you writing down what I'm saying? No. Because I don't know if I'm going to remember I also don't. I Can also don't. <clears throat> yeah. I also don't care if these are in order. I'm just let's, saying, let's who make would a you list together. Let's just make one list together. Wait, right now? Yeah. Okay. Why not? Okay. Uh, I think Sonic. Mario's one. Mario's one. Sonic is two. Okay. He could choose three. He could choose three. So you're you're okay with that too? The courier from Fallout New Vegas. No, I'm just joking. You mean um? <laughs> <laughs> I put Matthew Perry from Fallout New Vegas. Matthew Perry I'm was kidding. awesome. I'm kidding. Uh, video game characters. Do you think number Matthew... four? Wait, 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 wait! Before we get to that, okay. I do want to rank more. I I have a conspiracy theory question for you. Oh. Do you think it's weird the timing of Matthew Perry's death? Yes. And the circumstances. Yes. Me too. I do. Me too. His his contract was about to expire with the Stu Actor uh, Guild. the Actor uh, Guild. Screen Actors Guild. Yeah. Yes. I think it was like a year after or something. It was, but it but he basically said he's not going back to that. Uh huh. Uh, he also made weird comments, I think in like his book or something that he published, saying if he ever... Now, the book was about like his battle with depression and his issues and things like that, but he made a comment saying if he ever flies the bat signal... Uh, or if he's ever in real trouble, he'll if, fly the bat yeah, signal that, and you'll know. Exactly. 
Yeah. And before he died, he made all these like weird Instagram uh, postings and stuff like that about him. You know, call himself the uh, what was it the Batman? No, not the Batman. Um, he was making making a bunch of Batman references, but he was calling himself like this, like the Batman in this. And he was also making weird posts about like the bat signal and things like that. And then he mysteriously dies. In his own hot tub? In his hot tub, he has, like, a heart attack in his hot tub. I don't know if it was a heart attack, but it was something like Boy, that. Boy, they made this a troll thing with him. Um, I did. <laughs> it was like now, he had to pass through, like, the, <laughs> uh, the trench run for the Death Star there. I know. Now, my thing is, if he actually did just die by his own thing, I'm not trying to, like, milk his By his death. own glider? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Right. Was, your like father I'm... was killed by his own glider. <laughs> Like I'm not trying to like you need to kill that sniper or else he's gonna like No I don't. Out. Well you're trying to get to the thing. No, look, I'm out I'm out classing him. Batman doesn't kill. Got it. Like I'm not trying to like milk his death. It is sad. But I'm yeah, just yeah, saying yeah. it's just, I'm weird. just saying I was it saying is it's odd. Weird. It's very odd. I'm not trying to make like a statement yeah. on it either. I was just saying it's yeah. weird. It's, now, it's suspicious. I would love to talk about that more sometime when uh when I'm not losing my voice and okay. we're not ranking video games. But, <laughs> okay. Uh, I was going to say, so we just, we said Mario, Sonic, Pikachu. Pikachu. Yes. I'd be interested if chat says anything about, uh, um, about Matthew Would Perry you have The Lord. Legend of Zelda in the top? Yeah, like, Link. Like Link. Link. Would you have Link in yep. the top ten? Link. Would you have him at four or just in the top ten? Probably four. Okay. I, I mean, I think a lot of these characters are going to be Nintendo. Yeah, whether Nintendo you does a great job with their characters. And their marketing. Wow. Yep. Whether you play Nintendo or love Nintendo or not, yep. irrelevant. Yeah. The point is just who is recognizable is right. going to shoot me. Yeah, you really need to take out that sniper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I would have to think about other ones. Do you have any Final Fantasy? Like Cloud? Always. Cloud, I think, would be up there. Bye, Liz. Nice to see you. Um, we're going to be done very soon. I do think Kratos is one. People know who Kratos is. Yeah. Um, probably. He would at least be in the top 20, mm -hmm. you know, if he's not in the top 10. Cloud, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, he's very iconic, but... Like, very cool. You go show a random person a picture of Pikachu, they know. You go show a random person a picture of Cloud... That's true. That makes and, sense. And, by the way, this is coming from the guy who fanboys over the Advent Children movie, the one everyone hates. I love Cloud. Yeah. I adore that character. It might be... He's in my top probably ten personal favorite video game characters of all time. Yeah, right. For me. Um, so the point isn't Cloud's dog. The point is just iconic and recognizable. I don't know if Cloud is that for the general. Player. I would have Crash Bandicoot in the top ten. Uh, probably, yeah. Would you have Spyro? Or maybe not? Not anymore. If it was the 90s or like the early 2000s. Yeah, you would. Yeah. But but, not anymore. But I, I think that that... You know, you can have your, your iconography wear off if you don't do anything with Oh, the some character. people are saying the stream froze. Oh, really? Uh, I was on the... Yeah, the stream did freeze. Can you still hear us? Yeah, oh, you yeah, can, still, so you hear can us. still hear us. All I was doing is getting a couple of uh, Riddler things, so I'll just... We'll just finish our point, and then we should um, probably be done anyway. Well, let me just read this from Fetman Plays. He says, Mario, Sonic, mm -hmm. Pikachu, Kratos, Ezio... Mm -hmm. That's a good one. I don't know if it's iconic, but it is, he's a good character. Lara Croft, Link, Master Chief, Sam Fisher, and Carl Johnson. These are all great ones. Yeah. I I don't know if a lot of people would know who, like, Sam Fisher and CJ are if you just showed them, though. You know what I'm right. saying? Right, yeah. And that's um, kind of the issue. That's my one question. I'm trying to see if I could... Uh... I will say I will have Master Chief in the top ten. I think that's a good one. I would have Lara Croft in the top ten. Yeah. Uh, Mario, Sonic, Pikachu, I think is one, two, three. Um, I would put Crash in the top ten. That's going to be four. Lara Croft, five. Kratos, six. Master Chief, seven. I think those belong in the top ten for sure. Yes. Um, I don't know if I would put Ezio in the top ten. And it's not because I don't think he's cool, it's because is Ezio iconic to people, to everyone, or just iconic to us? Us. Who love Ezio. Who love Assassin's Creed and Ezio and so on. Which, by the way, guys, um, the thing with the stream is that whenever I mess with it, so like, it's, I don't know how to explain this to you guys because I can't show you the footage, but basically right now I'm just standing in game. So 
I use this thing called Elgato HD60 because it's easiest to stream well, basically any console with that. Yeah. The problem is after an hour or two, like I think usually it hits the two hour mark, it starts to do this. The picture will just freeze, mm -hmm. like on just a frame, and it will stop updating. And I, I've never been able to understand why. Mm -hmm. um, so like I disabled the preview, I re-enabled it, it's still frozen. You can hear us just fine. But you can't see it. Yeah, right. I, I don't. I don't really get why. But it's also six thirty, and, and we Nate, are going to be done soon. Nate here. was going to leave, yeah. so I think is it okay if we just talk for a, a minute? couple minutes yeah, or something, and then we then we end it. So we do know it's frozen, and if um, if anyone wants to, you know, if anybody has um, a uh, uh, I don't know what you'd say, like fix for that kind of thing, you know, streaming better than I do, you can always email me. I just put my email in there. Um, and we've got all of our stuff in the description, all the other channels and stuff you can support if you're interested. Would you add a me into the top ten? No. You don't think it's iconic? Me's are iconic, but like you show a random person a me. They would know it's a me. I don't know, dude. They haven't been. They they have not been relevant since the Wii. So you think if it was the Wii era, they would yeah. be? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. One hundred percent. Well, that's that's why I'm saying that this depends. Like Master Chief as well, but like the further we get from the Halo Three era. Mm -hmm. Like in 20 years, I don't know if Master Chief would be as iconic. That's true. Because is everyone going to know who he is the way that they do now? Right. I'm just not sure. Whereas Mario has stayed iconic, Sonic has stayed iconic, because despite Sonic releasing some iffy games, they've still released games consistently for decades, mm -hmm. and Mario has released games consistently for decades that are good to great quality. Yeah, right. Yeah. That so. makes sense. I think it's time-based is all I'm saying. So we also have 8, though, because Link, I think we're adding in there. Yeah. Maybe see, Link's like 9 or 10, but he's see, up there. See, Samus could have been. Mm -hmm. If they would have kept with it. Yep. But they just stopped. Randomly. For decades. Yeah. Star Fox could have been. Yeah, but they don't care about Star Fox. Uh, uh, F-Zero, um, Captain Falcon could have been. Donkey Kong could have been. Mm -hmm. I think Donkey Kong's iconic, but I don't think he's one of the top 10. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it gets hard, but I notice how most of them are Nintendo or Sega. Yeah. Because they've been they do a good job with it. But you know what's funny? Atari has, like, nothing. Have you noticed that? Right. You, you think of Atari, you can't think of any mascots, but they were huge. Mm -hmm. I guess they did, like, the Cheetah Men game for, forever ago, but no one cares about that. It's just known yeah. as a meme. Pac-Man. That's a good one. Or Mark Hujo. That's a good that, suggestion. That, that's actually a really good I'd one. I'd put them probably in the top ten. So I have a question for you. If we were in the PS3 era, would you say Solid Snake? Yes. But we're not. I actually thought of Solid Snake. Or just a, a snake in general. Yeah. Like, because there's obviously, you mm -hmm. know, Venom and all these. I but like I don't that. think it is anymore. No. And I think if we were in the Xbox 360 era, I would also say John Marston. Yeah. I would say everybody at that time, everybody remotely tied to gaming mm -hmm. knew who John Marston. Do you was. think Doom Guy or Kirby would be in the top ten? Kirby probably. Doom Guy, not for decades, but now I would say people are starting to know who that is again. Yeah, because like the Doom reboots, and also the the dark history of Doom. What do you mean? Oh, from Columbine. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, I, I feel like Doom Guy was the most known character for the wrong at the, reasons at the school. <laughs> yeah, post pew pewing. Right. It's like who's the most iconic video game character? We're not saying good, <laughs> right? <It's> like, <laughs> probably Doom Guy. Mega Man. Mega again, Man's up there. could be a good one. But again, I, I probably <coughs> would put Mega Man in the top ten if it was like fifteen years ago. Are we getting to the point where Sora would be? I mean, like even the amiibo and the, and the reveal for for Smash was like the biggest thing on the internet. That's true. That day. That's true. So I'm wondering, like, are we getting to the point now? You know, now that we got Kingdom Hearts three, we got yeah. Drop Distance, we got all that stuff where Sora would be. I think up some there, of the these. 20. I think some of these characters are eleven to twenty. Yeah. Like Sora, I would put Sora in eleven to twenty. Or person. Snake. Or Snake, I would have him there too. Doom guy, I would have in eleven to twenty. Would you put a, uh, any other Pokemon like Charizard? I feel like everybody knows who Charizard is. Not as much as Pikachu, but I would say yeah. in the top 20. I think, I think Charizard would be an 11 to 20, yeah. but I don't know if I'd put top 10. I don't know if I would add any other Pokemon. I think Pikachu's just the one everyone knows, and that's really it. What about Doug Trio? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see. Fenton 
plays says Leisure Suit Larry. I agree. That's a good one. Leisure Suit Larry is actually a very known character. But oh! I don't know if he's as known now. Steve from Minecraft. Yep. That's a good one. Not Alex, you you people are... I would actually put Steve maybe in the top ten. You people hate women? <laughs> Not Alex, who? <laughs> I think I think I think that's a good one. Steve if, would be in the top ten. If we were in the early two thousands or late nineties, you know who else I would add to this list? Who? Duke Nukem. Yeah. Yeah. But we're not anymore. That kind of fell off. No though. one cares. Yeah. But that was a good one. Remember when he was added to what game was it? Was it like Anarchy or something? No, he was added to oh. Bulletstorm. Oh yeah. And it was like Duke Nukem in Bulletstorm and then like me in the background was like Cool! And everyone else was like, who the fuck is this? Right. Like, <laughs> that was the moment where I was like, oh, no one cares about Duke Nukem anymore. Right. That's unfortunate. See, one that I would put in there that is up there as, like, he's he's a meme status. Mm -hmm. He's definitely in the top 100, at least. Yeah. Solaire. Yes. But he wouldn't be in the top 25. Right. But I'm just saying, like, if you were to do a list of 100 iconic game characters, yeah. he would be Solaire. Yeah, I agree. There. So yeah, I think I think that's a good list. I think we have some good top ten. No, let's go to a hundred. Okay, I'm fine. I'm down. <laughs> no, it's not. What about Jonathan Elden Ring, <laughs> the protagonist of Elden Ring? <laughs> that could My be good ring on. is getting real Elden in here. <laughs> My ring is getting Elden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or we could have Jonathan Dead Space. <laughs> it's funny. Be a good one. <laughs> What about Thomas Dead from the Evil Dead franchise? <laughs> right. uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Something ain't right here. Do movie characters count if they started in a movie or no? I think we should just go with video game characters. Because okay. I was going to say, if you were including like characters from like movies and stuff, yeah, characters like Spider-Man... Yeah. Characters like Harry Potter yes. that have gotten all these video yes. games, obviously they would also be... See, my mind did go to Spider-Man, but then I was like, well, people are <coughs> known from comics and movies. Yeah. And then he got video games. And then he got even bigger. Yeah. So I don't... I, I wouldn't count those Like an ones. obese man discovering McDonald's. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Just imagine a family guy got away to that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Kratos is definitely in there, though, too. Yeah, I think so. But we should probably say goodbye to the chat because my throat hurts, and Nate's got to remedy that before he leaves. I do. I, I agree with Bond Miller, by the way. Angry Birds would have a good case of being up there. Yeah, I think so. I think that nowadays, Angry Birds has fallen off though, because like it's the the games are not they don't have as much heart. They're like relying on microtransactions. They're very much pushing like a uh, um, corporate soulless type thing more. Yeah. Um, but when they first came out, that would have been a good one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. The first, I would say, the first five years of their mm -hmm. existence. Yeah, you know, like when iPhones were kind of new, and it was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. What about Fappy Bird? Oh, sorry, Flappy Bird. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Fappy Bird is what they called me in college when they caught me in the bathroom. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Ryu from Street Fighter would definitely be up there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the what COD Zombies cast I think is in my top twenty, but it's definitely not the most, like iconic to everyone. Right, a lot of people don't. Know I like them, especially because for a lot of people, you just played that game first person. Like my cousins are a great example of what casual COD Zombies fans are. You know what they did? They played the games. Mm -hmm. They knew almost nothing about the characters. They would laugh at Nikolai making Russian jokes, and they'd mim mimic his voice and like make jokes about vodka, and they'd shoot zombies for 20 rounds and then die. And then they'd go eat Cheetos and watch a movie. Right. That's the average COD Zombies fan. Mm -hmm. They're not the guy who's like, whoa, the story of Rick Tofen is amazing, and like, look at all these <laughs> things. Like they're, right. They're not that, yeah. that guy. You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. <laughs> I think they're telling us to leave because they're all okay, saying Okay, I'm saying like, okay, just be done with this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bye. <laughs> See you later. Fuck out of your own stream, pal. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna get. It's not that here. stream, pal. <laughs> Raven Etic, it was nice to see you. Fetman plays Nicholas, Bren Brendan, Tom Foolery, Von Miller, Frost Boy, aka Tate Star, who deleted your own message, but it's it was still nice to see you. I hope you said something nice and not mean. Uh, that's a lot of who's commenting right now. Celeste. It was nice to see all of you. I appreciate you. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching the stream. If you missed any part of it, most of it actually is 
uh, gameplay that works for over two hours, um, and then uh, that will be archived on the archived live streams uh, playlist, and you can check that out. I, I would say wait a couple hours, and then you'll be able to see the actual chat. You know, like yeah, if you right. want. But that should all be up there. Thank you again for the super chats. Thank you for the people who just watched and, and commented. All that stuff really means a lot. Sammy, it's nice to see you. Um, like I said in the uh, in the comments, real quick, um, if you want to support something else we're doing, you know, we uh, I guess well in the description we've got our other channels. Um, everything like that helps us out. We got our Fortnite code, everything. So we appreciate you very much. We hope you have a fantastic day, Nate. You want to say anything before we end? Anything maybe about your trail of tears comments? <laughs> I just wanted to clear up. I think the Trail of Tears was awful. It was one of the worst things in American history. It really was. I'm just saying people hate Andrew Jackson probably more than what he should be. Hating. Nate, I turned the mic off. What do you think about him? Love him. Why? My favorite president ever. Why? I love a racist Did you call it the Trail of Beers because you said you would have like walked I would have, yeah, I would have with drink a, beer a lot and, of like, beer, yeah. A foam finger. Great thing, epic. <laughs> I still like the I joke love of it. like you in the background with the foam finger. <laughs> yeah, keep on walking, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I love Andrew. Amber want a twenty dollar bill? <laughs> it's autographed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're also the guy who'd be like I mean, yeah, the Civil War was fought for slavery, but more importantly, it was actually about states' rights. <laughs> well, I'm just always trying to find the good, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just try to find the good in everything and everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys.